Welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a nice break. I'm back with part two of Wastelanders on this, the launch day of Wastelanders. Uh, we did about four hours just a bit, of, a bit ago, and we finished one of the major quest chains. Welcome back, everybody. Ah. I hope you had a nice break. Sorry about that. <laughs> Happens every, at least once every time I do a broadcast. Anyway, we finished at least one of the major quest chains for Wastelanders in our last broadcast, which was a lot of fun, and we've got a lot more to explore. There are two new allies that we can recruit that I know of, at least, that I want to check out. There's the Overseer. We can finally get some closure on the Overseer's quest, and there are there's another main story quest that we need to pick up with. So, uh, let's dive on in. Uh, when I logged out about 10, 15 minutes ago, we were at the uh, purveyor who moved to the Rusty Pick, at the Rusty Pick, uh, and I got new coffee, piping hot. Corndog says that wasn't 10 minutes, that was 13 minutes and 22 seconds. Well, I'm sorry. But I managed to get my kids some breakfast cereal and to make a brand new pot of coffee. And I think I did well for myself, even if it was only 13 minutes and 22 seconds, if not 10. Okay, so. First up, I want some closure. Overseer's mission. It's so funny. How long have we been waiting to finish this quest? A year and a half. <laughs> Since Fallout 76 dropped, we went through the Overseer's journey. We got all of our hollow tapes. I even did a video on it. And we finally now get some closure and we can talk to the Overseer. So let's go check her out. Um, why is it not showing me a uh, showing on map? Uh, I guess for some reason it's not working, but I think I need to go to Sutton. Well, first, let's get some water. I know I'm going to need some water and probably some food. Um, Adrian says, hope all is well, Ox. Everything is going very well. I'm having a great time with Wastelanders. Larry says, hey, Ox, homesick from work with food poisoning. Thanks for making my day a bit better with Wastelanders. Well, I'm sorry that you're feeling sick, but I'm grateful that you made it to the program today. All right, we should have enough. Vladimir says, Legend module and V94 steel to craft Vault 94 armor. Can show it if you're friend me, or just watch for players in plants overgrown armor. Uh, I know you need the Vault 94 steel to craft the Vault 94 armor, but it, do you also need the Legend module as well? Okay, we're doing good. Now, Sutton, I believe, is where we need to go. Um... Berkeley Springs. Investigate Berkeley Springs? What's that for? It must be a side quest. Uh, investigate the emergency signal. Take the elevator down. Talk to the overseer. Here we go, Sutton. Oh, it's going to be cheaper if I go to Vault 76. Let's go to Vault 76 first and then fast travel to Sutton. Ryan says, I'm a longtime watcher. I appreciate all of the content you put out. Thank you very much, Ryan. Good to have you on the program today. Lots more lore and live streams to come. Ah, uh, now, Sutton, 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 Sutton. We finally get to meet the Overseer after all this time. 
Will she be disappointed that we've dropped a nuke? <laughs> Which of the holotapes that she left behind is the canonical one? After all, remember, she only leaves behind the holotape where she's mad at us for dropping the nuke if somebody dropped a nuke within the week on our server. And so far, as far as I know, that hasn't happened. At least not on the server. Am I gonna have to clear this entire town? Oh, for Pete's sake. Jay-Z says, yes, Ox, legend module only purpose is for a Vault 94 armor. Okay, thank you for the clarification. I appreciate it. The Overseer's home. Brand new location. Look, she moved into an old house. Now we know this isn't her parents' house. At least I don't think so. Welcome, vault dwellers. Oh, it's like going home to mama. <laughs> Let's see what she says. There she is. Oh, and oh, she's what- thank God you're here. I almost- it's just so good to see you. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We I... really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. I am so lucky. I put together a video about the um, overseer, and I had no idea what she looked like. So to create the thumbnail screenshot, um, I just created a second character and I gave her uh, this exact same hairstyle and I gave her like graying hair and it just so turns out that Bethesda chose the same hairstyle for the real overseer so I got really lucky with my thumbnail hey who's this Davenport let oh. me introduce you to Davenport he's been helping me with some reconnaissance keeping an eye on Appalachia oh so good to meet you the Overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. Overseer's basement key added. All right. Hey, Overseer, I'm so happy to see you. Pretty crazy out there, huh? I know we have a lot to catch up on. But first, I have to ask. Did you finish the inoculation against the Scorched Plague? Please, it's vitally important. I I found all of your holotapes. I finished the inoculation. I kind of dropped a nuke on, on other people. And I had a great time doing it. It's so good to see you. Uh, let's see. Duchess told me where you were. I don't remember Duchess telling me where she was. Um... <laughs> Everything after leaving the vault has been insane. vault never prepared us for this. Gosh, which one will I get locked out of? But let's just, let's answer her question. Yes, the inoculation is done. Good, because we're going to need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. Um, I'll make contact with the newcomers, get them inoculated. Who cares? They're not from Vault 76. They're not our problem. Why are they coming? Why now? I don't know if you've been following the rumors, 
But there's something in the mountains. Treasure. No one's managed to get into it yet. But one thing's for certain. It's a vault. Oh yeah. I eavesdropped I on found some the of door. the newcomers. And whatever is inside there has gone from speculative guesses to full-blown fantasy. Stories of untold riches would draw groups of people even before we turn the world into a wasteland. Hope and greed are powerful motivators. Okay, if there really is treasure, we'll find it. The whole thing sounds like nothing but trouble. We can pass a strength check to say if any of them stand in my way, I'll break them in half. Or an intelligence check to say the structural integrity of a vault is designed to last generations. It won't be easy to get in. Or a charisma check of four to say, but we're in the perfect position to provide the newcomers with leadership. Or a perception check of four to say, I can tell you have a theory about this vault. Don't keep me in suspense. Well, uh, let's let's go with um, let's hear let's hear her theory. I don't want to lead us down the wrong track, but I've got my suspicions. The gold people are finding in the rivers can't be a coincidence. But first, we need to make sure the newcomers don't get infected. What do we know about the newcomers, or why not just take everyone to the AVR medical facility? After all, that's where we got our inoculation. First, let's ask about the newcomers. Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting, or, or whatever their word is for, we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. <clears throat> um, oh man, I missed the AVR one. I can't go back and get that one. Um, if you're so worried, you should go yourself instead of pawning it off on me. This reminds me of the vault Tech training. Do you remember the How to Make Friends movies? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I can't remember the official title. You'd think it'd be burned in my head with how many times I played that for everyone. The reality is a little different, though, isn't it? Prepare for the future. <sighs> if you're so worried, you should go yourself instead of pawning it off on me. Do you think I like sending you into harm's way? I don't. But we have to lean on each other. I need you. All of you to do your part. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just be careful out there. Hey! Quest started here to stay. Strangers to Appalachia coming to stay. So we need to make contact with the Raiders and the settlers. <coughs> Strange bedfellows is our raiders quest. The raiders of Appalachia have returned. And what's the next one? Here to stay? Are they not going to give me a big sticker for that one? I guess not. Well, while while I'm here, let's uh let's finish chatting. Something on your mind? I have some questions about the overseer logs you left behind. All right. Go ahead. Um, the holotape about the nukes. Do you really think vault -Tec planned for us to use them? That's just it. I don't know. I thought they had let me into their plans, that we were special. But now I'm wondering if we were all just one big experiment to them. Just like everyone else. And what happens once there's more nukes landing on Appalachia than she can take? Oh, we can actually apologize. That's so funny. I <laughs> I'm sorry the nukes were used. We were just trying to defeat the Scorched. You're as responsible for the nukes being used as the rest of us. Even more so. Why, exactly? Because she led us to the silos? vault experiments might save us all in the end, though, won't they? Uh, let's apologize for the nukes. <laughs> I know. You did what you were asked. A and so did I. 
But now we need to think for ourselves more. Build the America and the Appalachia we want. Let's let's Sometimes I honestly thought they'd be the last things I'd get to say to everyone. I think I've found them all. Did you want them? Well, let me see. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I think that's everything. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? For both of us. Appalachia has changed. We've changed. <clears throat> um... I just want to be rid of them. The holotapes were a poor substitute for real help. Ouch! We accomplished vault mission in the end. That's all that matters. Not really. So instead we'll say, Thank you, Overseer. Those hol holotapes helped me to survive. I... You're welcome. I'm just glad I can be here in person now. <sighs> Yay! They took... Uh, did she take... Did she take all of my holotapes? I hope so. Um... Oh, we can talk about Evan. I found Evan. It's taken care of. I... <sighs> Thank you. It, it wasn't your fault. You did what was best for all of us. Why did you do it? You knew he was going to die. Oh, that's so cruel. I refuse to believe vault would do what you said. They saved our lives. Wow, they, we really have a lot of options to kind of side with vault here. Um, I really kind of want to know why she chose to do it. The real question is, how do you live with yourself? Knowing that's what you've done. Honestly... You worry, and hope, and bargain, and wish it's not true. And then one day you wake up, and it just doesn't bother you anymore. You've blinded yourself, so you can keep going. After the vault opened, you disappeared. Where were you all this time? Pretty hypocritical for me, of all people, to take off on my own, huh? <laughs> At first, I was just racing ahead, hoping that if there was any trouble, I'd hit it first. And then there were the nukes, the scorched plague, seeing my old neighborhood bombed to pieces. I, I needed time. Uh, you abandoned us because you needed time? Bullcrap! I understand the vault mission came first, or I'm just glad you're here now. Me too. So why settle here in Sutton? I grew up here. My parents used to live just down the hill. If there's one neighborhood I'm rebuilding first, it's this one. I've got to go. Stay careful out there. Together we've made Appalachia safer. But she still has fangs. Yay! After a year and a half of playing this game, we finally complete the Overseer's mission. At last! <laughs> Alright, oh, and we get a heavy leather chest piece. Nice. That's a great reward for all of that. I is there anything else? I kind of feel like we should talk more. We'll rebuild this country brick by brick if we have to. So all she does is introduce us to... Stay careful out there. Together we've made Appalachia safer. But she still has fangs. All she does is introduce us to the Settler and Raider quests. Okay. Davenport. Hello, Davenport. Tell me about yourself. It seems as if more people arrive in Appalachia every day. This is very encouraging. I'm always delighted to see a resident of Vault 76. Well, former resident. Let me tell you, it's quite a job keeping track of all the comings and goings here in Appalachia. Ah, oh, hello. We're always happy to have visitors. All right, well, Granny Overseer here's got her own little home, a couple of blue slippers, and a Mr. Handy Robot Davenport to take care of her. I guess that gives me the closure I wanted.
Fertilizer material, fall, spring, dry solid forms, ammonium bitrate, liquid forms. This is a chalkboard that was in um, the uh, medical facility, wasn't it? I wonder what it was doing here. Oh, can I take your caps, Granny? Thank you. Let's scrap down our junk. And I'm still encumbered. It's that dog on leather leg. Or leather chest piece. Okay, maybe I can scrap it. Uh, she gave me a heavy leather chest piece. I can scrap this. What am I doing with a pipe pistol? Why do I have this? Wait a minute, I still have my legendary one, right? Berserker's tuned lever action rifle, right? I must have gotten the other one as a reward. Well, I can scrap it, so I don't need it. Hey, and I unlocked a short scope. Great. All right, and I'm no longer encumbered. Good news. All right, time to explore the overseer's house here. This is quite a basement for a pre-war house that she has here. M. Dalton with a tip and a sticker. Thank you, M. Dalton. She's a coffee drinker. That's what I like to see. Ooh, Nuka Cola Cherry. Might if I do. Boiled water, coffee, and sugar. And look at that. She's watching old. Old videos of Vault Tech University. Ah, her alma mater. No, it's a slideshow. Projector. Let me get and turn that off. It turned on. Fond memories. Okay, that goes back outside. What's this? Ah. Oh, more of that uh, artwork. Got a collection. Ooh, look at that van. Oh, that's the cool toy van. I need one of those for my collection. This is her bedroom. Little lion sculpture there. Oh, can I... Um, yeah, she won't mind if I pick her footlocker, will she? Yeah. More slippers. Exactly how many slippers does she need? Oh, there's a panda. Imported Chinese panda. Do I need that for the achievement? Nope. Nope. Looks like I already got one. Or not the achievement, the uh, challenge. Z ZXY says, Hey, Ox, I love your channel and Fallout. And since we're all in lockdown here, I can even finally catch the live stream. Well, uh, I wish it were under better circumstances. Oh, I didn't realize this was going outside. There's still one more room I need to explore. I wish it was under better circumstances, but I'm glad you, uh, you made it to the program. Oh. Oh, look to her back porch. Oh, no fusion core. Oh, wait, it is, but it's punched in there, so I can't get it out. Stim pack, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, so there's the overseer's house. She even has a barn star. Very West Virginian. All right, there was that one last room in here that I wanted to explore, so we'll hop inside real quick. No Name says, <clears throat> she's an older lady. They like their slippers. <laughs> Maybe that explains it, No Name. Okay. So she's got a bust here. Something. 
I don't think I've ever seen that in the game. Is that new? To Wastelanders, or am I just now seeing it for the first time? And then this is... The Study. Ah. Oh, look at that. An army helmet. <clears throat> on another bust. Army fatigues. Ah, Responders gear. We recall that she was a big fan of the Responders and what the Responders were doing. Oh, uh, she's got her old... Is that... No, that's a backpack. And a party hat that she's got in a case there. Pipe weapons, skis, syringer ammo, and an accordion. <laughs> All right, so it looks like uh, she plays the accordion. Well, <clears throat> well, we've got some closure there, and now we've got another quest. Let's see here. <clears throat> we've got the ally quests as a side quest. And we've got here to stay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so the main quest we get from the Overseer is the new arrivals. And under that are these two branching quests. Let's start with talking to the settlers. And we'll, we'll do the others as well, if we can. I remember reading from the patch notes that there is a point of no return for each of the quest chains. And I want to get up to that without crossing it. So first, let's go talk with the settler leader. Here at uh, Spruce Knob. Let's go to my camp first. That'll be cheaper. Thank you for the tip, Alan. Crispy squirrel bits. Uh... Due to the hardened nature of this unit's exterior, the action shrink the like a full full of jelly is unavailable at this time. And Santa Bar. All right. The foundation. Talk to the settler leader. Okay. At last, we get to meet one of the brand new factions with Wastelanders, the settlers. Oh, and it looks like we just started a daily. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> all of this has changed. Wow. Settler guard. Hello. Hey, I know you. No, I've heard some amazing stories about you. You're a legend around here. I am? I hope we can set up more settlements like Foundation. Well, I've got friends out there that didn't want to come with me. He is well armed for a settler. The Blood Eagles are a dangerous offshoot of the Raiders. They don't get along with the Crater group. Welcome to Foundation. So this is foundation. No fighting, no stealing, no trouble. Oh, and don't cuss in front of the kids. <laughs> okay. Foundation, the new home for settlers that want to live free and safe in the wasteland. Can I live here? <clears throat> We're a little short on housing right now, but you're welcome to join the community. Who's in charge? Well, technically nobody, but we all listen to whatever Paige says. He keeps us on task. There's a lot to do here. Paige is inside, but he's a busy guy. 
So, if you're looking to help, you might want to see Ward first. Okay, Paige and Ward. <clears throat> Goodbye. Silence. Well, well. I guess let's go clockwise. Hello, kid. I'm not supposed to go outside of town, but sometimes I do. Okay. I hope the lights show How's up in the sky there? again tonight. Have you seen them? Yeah, the nukes, I was so tired when I got home from work last night. Fell right to sleep. How you doing? Uh, I can't complain. All right. Take it easy. See ya. You need a can opener for that armor? No, thank you. Who are you? Elise. Can I wake you up, Elise? Do you mind having a chat? Hi there. Is that your boy I see around here? He's mine, all right. Mine and Derek's. He's a good kid. Now that we made it here, maybe you'll have a chance to grow up. I'm teaching him how to shoot, but I hope we can make this place safe enough he never has to use a gun. What are you doing around here? What don't I do? I guess I'm most known for being a great shot, but I also help out with stuff that needs building. Can you tell me about the others? Best way to get to know someone is either to fight them or share a meal. I recommend sharing a meal. Samuel is one of our newer citizens. Maybe you can be his friend. He's from a vault like you. Goodbye. If you see anything lurking around outside of town, let me know. We need some target practice. <clears throat> Tony J says, oh dear, what a lovely painting. Thank you, Tony. Alan says, I've had this since release. Wish I'd played it more. Well, now's a perfect opportunity to dive back in, what with all of the new people walking around and stuff. Elias's story. Okay. I'm not much of a writer, but Derek won't do it, so I have to. Davey deserves to have it written down. Derek and I met, met in the pit. You're kidding. They came from Pittsburgh? He was stuck building things for them. I was one of their enforcers. I was already hating that job, and he was hating his. We agreed we both hated the pit. But it wasn't until Davy came along that we decided to do something about it. Derek hates guns, but he used one that Elsie, day. I can sit for you later if you do me day. a favor. I can't sure. build as fast Davey as Ward needs. Auntie. What do you need? Hey, I need a plus one for a scavenging run later. Nothing too risky. I just want to grab some essentials. All right, I'll find you later. Samuel might be able to help too, if you're in a hurry. But it wasn't until Davy came along that we decided to do something about it. Oh, Derek hates guns, but he used one on that, on that day. Oh my gosh, they just won't stop talking. Never hit anything he was aiming at. I had to put eight of them down to get us out of there. I came out with a cracked rib and a bullet grazed on my scalp. I'm proud to say that Derek never got a scratch. After I ambushed the hunting party they sent after us, they must have decided we weren't worth the fame. Never saw another pit oh, later. You know, now we're swept on. Now we are here in Foundation. We were always on the move before, never staying anywhere more than a week. That's no way to raise a child. Foundation has changed all that. It's changed all that for you, Davy. So, wow, we learned that the pit... Foundation is growing every day. I can't build as fast as Ward needs. We learned that the pit was founded a really, really, really long time ago in terms of uh, Fallout history. Because this is only, what, 26 years after the bombs dropped and the Pit Raiders already exist? That's, uh, that's a long time the Raiders have been around. Those Raiders aren't way out of the road. They're just over there. It must, I mean, it has to have been a pre-Asher version of the Pit Raiders. I guess when the Brotherhood swept in and cleared them out, Asher created a brand new clan. Hey, Not Derek. Hey, uh, Appalachia is a strange place. So much land, good land. But it's got its challenges. Guess nowhere's really good to raise a family in tomorrow. Bringing a child into this world. Not an easy call. Well, it wasn't exactly her choice, if you catch my meaning. But what's the alternative? 
<laughs> As a species, we can't just roll over and die. We got to fight, right? Is the land here really that good? All stretches of country up north just crater. And a few fields are a gorny thing. Uh, it's just, see, what comes out of the ground there makes the gigger counter go crazy. That blatch is deadly. But at least here we stand a chance. I mean, I, I can't place this accent at all. Is that supposed to be a Pittsburgh accent? <laughs> is your family doing okay? We get by. Better than that, she's coming here. Paige kept us all together to some rough tains. It's good to set down some roots. I haven't seen Davy this happy since... Well, ever. Kids are crazier as they, you know. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Pittsburgh, barn and bred. My roots went back there for... Five generations. Had to leave, though. It's... Just don't go north. Trust me. Okay, see you around. Whatever you say. So that's a Pittsburgh accent. Me, it's more than just I wow. Talk, all right. I had no idea. Okay, so there's Derek and his lovely wife and child. Let's, uh, okay, headquarters that way, guest rooms to the right, workbenches to the left. All these newcomers make me nervous. Who said that, Ward? Everybody just needs to do their jobs. Isn't this place great? Oh, there he is. I don't understand why we can't get a few more sunnies to do the boring jobs. Sunnies? What's a sunny? Builder's nest. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. So they've got a nice little place here. Nothing in here, just decoration. Ooh, wait. A bunch of raider graffiti on the on the ground there. You must leave or die. So the raiders came right up here and threatened the people of the foundation. Look at that. And look, those are the logos of all of the raider gangs we remember. With some new ones, it looks like. Okay, so we saw the workbenches. Their jobs. Isn't this place great? Let's go up this way. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I have ruined Nice it. armor, buddy. It is ruined. No, it is on sale. Where's... Okay, now I understand the Sunny comment, but where's Sunny? Ah, uh, too busy. Maybe later? Settler... Those Mothman cultists give me the creeps. They're all just crazy. Settler. Uh, have you seen my tools? Ah, never mind. I just spotted them. Let's see if we can find Sunny. Hey, your power armor looks like it's seen better days. Might be time to fix it up or replace it. Uh, I'm not getting any red on my indicator here. Although I did turn the indicator off. How is my, my power armor? Is it? Great, great, fine, great, great. Hey, you don't know what you're talking about, buddy. My power armor's looking good. <coughs> I'm getting sick of potatoes. I know oh. they're easy to grow, but how about a little variety? Hey there, Sonny. Captain says the settlers, hmm, very inventive name for themselves. They need to stop being so rude and interrupting you, Ox, I know. I'm trying to talk here. Shop with Sunny first, before those other Sunnies. Their products are inferior. Who do you report to? Who collects your money? Sunny reports to Paige. All funds are turned over to Foundation, do not attempt to steal from Sunny. Sunny is authorized to file a complaint. 
Are there more Sunnies outside the Foundation? Sunny hopes not. Sunny does not need more inferior copies of itself. Two is too, too many. So there are two Sunnies? Okay, you're the best Sunny, Sunny. Was there ever any doubt? My superior yet identical programming to the other Sunnies makes it obvious. Armor Sunny. Armory Sunny is the best Sunny. Oh dear. I just found an outstanding bill of yours for one trillion caps. Perhaps you'd better settle up when Paige verifies it. I will be forced to remove you from the customer rolls until it is paid. Goodbye. <laughs> Sunny has everything you need. If Sunny does not have it, you did not need it. All right, so I guess there's another Sunny robot here in the Foundation. Have you ever heard any interesting rumors? Did you hear about the fun you can have at Camden Park? Neither did Sunny. Wink, wink. Ha 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 ha. All right, so Sunny won. You can sell a fedora, rags, a small amount of chems. A recall key card circuit board? What's that for? And a bit of junk. Foundation General and goods. those raiders up at Crater just don't get along. They want to take everything we've worked for. Really go for a oh, there's the other Sonny. Sandwich. Don't buy food or junk from those other Sunnies. Buy guns from the real Sunny, with a gun, you can get food or junk. B Gem says ox. That's a very common accent here in northern uh, Minnesota. Okay. Well, well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I haven't been. No name says Sunny and Bessie would be great, a great couple. <laughs> I think so. Let's learn more about this Sunny. How'd you get the name Sunny? Sunny stands for Simple Utility Pneumatic Network. Network. Network system error. Human interface resetting. User, user. Reset complete. No. Welcome to Sunnies. Okay. Why don't you like the other Sunnies? They are inferior copies of the real Sunny. This Sunny. And he says M.I. is Michigan, not Minnesota. Oh, did I say Minnesota? Sorry. That's M.N., isn't it? Yeah. You're the best, Sonny. Thank you for stating the obvious. All the most intelligent humans state the obvious. Have you heard any interesting rumors? A while ago, Sonny heard that there were problems at the Tigard. Water treatment plant. Okay. So a lot of just really random settlers. Finally, a nice day. Another sunny robot. I need a nap for a reason. Sunny has fresh food, but Sunny prefers customers eat all this food first. Why are there three of you? There is only one real Sunny. This Sunny. All others are imposters with identical programming. How did you get to Foundation? Sunny does not know. Sunny does not care. Sunny powered up here in Foundation. Sunny was given most important task of feeding settlers far more important than guns or junk. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Have you heard any interesting rumors? The giant teapot always seems to need repairs. At least that's what Sunny has heard. All right. Well, we got to meet the Sunnies. Never call me by my name. Did you forget it? I mean, it's okay to admit it. I've made a lot of what? friends here no, in Foundation. Nothing like that, man. Nobody special. I just don't yet, want to put a label on you. You know what I mean. Labels are. Next week it'll be my turn on guard duty. I hate those late nights walking the walls. All right, so we got another log cabins or series of log cabins over here. A couple of power armor stations. That's great. Who's in the trailer? No one, but we got a bubblegum bear. Sunnies provides meager sustenance for a meager price. Here's another trailer. Looks like it's closed, though. More housing for the residents. Ah, this one comes with a patio and a view. Living large here in the foundation. Couple of outhouses, good. I'm glad they uh, thought about the necessary. Ooh, look, a rare commodity there. Oh, even rarer. They're doing better than we are. We no longer stop water ice. Water is not also Ice. All right, Do so there's a barracks in the back. Water ice at Sunny's. How's it going? With another settler guard. It looks like uh, they're in construction mode, full-on construction mode. Let's take a look at the barracks here. Dog tags in the corner, booze on a counter. Plenty of suitcases. And then there's the front of the barracks. Well, it looks like we've explored everything except for what's at the top of Spruce Knob. Is it Yin's or Yu's or y'all? I can't keep up. Where is Samuel? I keep hearing these named guys talking, but I don't know where they go. Paige's office. All right, I guess I'll take the elevator up. Wait, what about that staircase? Should I go up the staircase? Ooh. What is this? Can I interact with it? No. No, can't interact with it. Civilization is being rebuilt. Right here in Foundation. There's Samuel. Okay, underground HQ, main elevator, and then that way to the guest rooms. All right, we got to explore those guest rooms. But first, Samuel. Hey, fellow dweller. How's it going? <laughs> a fellow dweller? Where's his vault suit? Uh, how'd you end up here? I came from a vault just like you. Ah, uh, you've never heard of it. It's really far away and hidden. Like, really hidden. Uh-huh. I don't even know how to get to it. Like, at all. Okay, that's convincing. What's your job here? A uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Whatever needs doing. Ward says he's still trying to figure out what I'm best at. Hmm. What can you tell me about the others? Ward's in charge out here. Well, he'll say he ain't, but he is. Of course, he reports to Paige for the big stuff. But when he points, they all jump. I reckon it's because he always puts Foundation ahead of himself. As for the rest of them, I'm still getting to know everyone. All right, see you later. Let me know if you see any repairs I should add to my list. The ever-growing, unending list. So for some reason, I don't really believe that he ever came from a vault. I wonder what his story is. Okay, so underground HQ, I guess the elevator takes us down, which makes me wonder what's on top. Uh, but first, the guest rooms. And Ward says our walls and turrets will keep the raiders out. I sure hope he's right. This way to the guest rooms. That's the builder's nest. Boarding house, daily and weekly. No spitting. Oh. Wow, they made really good use of this real estate. This was just a big empty ruin when we explored last time. Okay, so this is where guests can sleep. I guess it's it's meant for you and me, everybody. 
We don't have a camp yet. We can come here and hang out at the foundation. Grab a bed. Look at all these beds for guests. Aw. So nice that the foundation is so accommodating. Very kind settlers. Yeah, looks like we can rest at any of these beds. Room number three. What's in room number three? Just a bed for you and me. Oh, amateur surgery. That's terrifying. At least they don't have a sunny doing surgery. That would be even more terrifying. Oh, they turned this into... Is this part of it or is this just going back out? Oh yeah. Oh, binoculars. Uh, can we get down there? They've got big turbines in there. Oh, that's how they're generating power. Now that is clever. Look at that. They've got big uh, wind turbines in there that they're generating power with. Hey, cool. All right, well, we explored the guest quarters. Let's go to the top of Spruce Knob, see what's up there. Then we'll take the elevator down. If and you're I looking to trade, check out Sonny's. Can't believe Battle. I lost my Nuka Tepper saves. Sonny's provides meager sustenance for a meager price. Ooh. Looks like a uh, communications hub or something. Wow, look at all these consoles. Map of Appalachia. More dog tags. Lots of dog tags we find thrown around here. But it doesn't look like there's anything we can interact with. Yeah, for the main NPCs, I think we gotta go down. Ward and Page and all that. All right, well, now we know what's at the top. Let's go find that elevator. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I have ruined Civilization it. is it being rebuilt is right ruined. here in Foundation. No, it is Page's office. On sale. Here we go. Ashley says, see ya, Ox. 2.30 a.m. Need sleep. Watch stream tomorrow. No worries. Thanks for stopping by. I'll have the replays available after the broadcast ends. Oh, wow. This is huge. Okay. I didn't even know there were caves beneath Spruce Knob. Wow. Oh, let's see. Who's this? I heard Sunny got a new shipment in. I gotta go check it out. Oh, exciting, Sunny. Restricted access. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm immediately overwhelmed by how large this is. Okay, let's go here and talk with... Everyone pulls Paige. their own weight at Foundation. Well, uh, this is a little awkward. You're from one of the local vaults, right? Why is Hope that? you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because... <laughs> We're already kind of here. And if you want to kick us out, then the answer's no. <laughs> if the walls weren't already kind of a statement to that effect. Okay. Um, the important thing right now is getting you inoculated against the Scorch Plague. Nice to meet you. I hope our people can work together. Appalachia is big. Plenty of room for all of us. Just remember that Vault 76 was here first. We're keeping an eye on you. Where did y'all come from? Yeah, we can get the here and there, there this action. way and that. You understand what I'm saying. There'll be time for swapping stories when the job here is done. But let's just say we like building things. There's a security to it, you know? Foundation's just the start. Appalachia is big. Plenty of room for all of us. Nice to know I'm dealing with a reasonable person. 
Never know what kind of morons we'll stumble across out here. Well, the important thing right now is getting you all inoculated against the Scorched Plague. Inoculated? This some kind of a scare tactic? <clears throat> you haven't seen the Scorched running around? You mean those crazies with the torch skin? Those aren't just burn victims? You're saying it's from a disease? Thanks for the warning, but... You know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things too. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor, Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp, get the lay of things. You talk to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced too. Deal? Well, I suppose sounds fair enough. Um, <clears throat> where is this camp? How many people? Uh, south of here. Aubrey and a few hunters. About five people. All right, I'll check with Aubrey. Then you all get inoculated. Assuming he agrees with you about this disease, then we'll hear you out. Just Game It Out Cast Gaming says, Hey Ox, you gonna do a Dungeons video on Fallout 4? Uh, maybe there are a few things in Fallout 4 I still want to cover. All right, let's talk with Paige busy again. here. Make it quick. <clears throat> so what do you do around here, Paige? Well, I oversee all the construction. I'm in charge of that much, at least. <sighs> this place needs to get big and safe fast. Sometimes people need a little nudge, or a little encouragement. Or sometimes just a swift kick in the pants. That's where I come in. What's everyone working on in Foundation right now? Plumbing. Water is a big deal. Gotta bring it in, clean it up, distribute it. Then take it away and dispose of it. You can always tell a well-run town by the quality of its plumbing and water. <laughs> he looks like a plumber. <laughs> What can you tell me about everyone? There's not too much to tell. Everyone does what they can around here. Even Davy lends a hand. <laughs> That's not to say we expect him to be self-sufficient, of course. He's a kid. <laughs> See you later. We can always use more hands. Okay, so... We still need to talk to Ward before we go. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, actually a actual and very real doctor. Totally qualified. <laughs> Remedies, Cam's advice, always available. Oh, great. <laughs> totally qualified. A lot of set dressing, not much to interact with. Hey, I know you. I've heard some amazing stories about you. Oh, you're a legend around here. Or are they gonna... They're gonna say that a lot, aren't they? Okay, well, let's go counterclockwise. Or, I'm sorry, clockwise. Um... You should Jen. consider this place a fresh start. They took me in years ago and became my family. They could be the same for you. What's up, Buttercup? Buttercup? Um, what do you do around here? Mostly, I keep an eye on the area around Foundation. I look for good things to bring back and keep an eye out for anything hazardous. If the super mutants are on the move or a bunch of scorched move into the area, Ward needs to know as soon as possible. Where'd y'all come from? Oh, I joined up with them north of here a while back. They seem to be from all over this region. My family used to live in what's now the Capital Wasteland. Hey, Capital Wasteland represent. Bye-bye. <clears throat> See you around. Interesting that they call it the Capital Wasteland only 26 years after the nuclear apocalypse. Paige you think might that would seem still... like a real stick in the mud sometimes, but he's held this group together through a lot of hardship. You'd think there'd be still people around only 26 years later who remember it as being uh, Washington, D.C. But it seems fast. It seems that they, they transitioned to calling it the Capital Wasteland pretty quickly. Sorry, no time to chat. Settler. Oh, Settler. I'm sore all over. Building this place up is hard work. And this goes back to the elevator. That goes down. All right, well, we'll explore downstairs in a bit. Let's finish exploring these floating pods. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> not getting a lot of notes or holotapes that I thought I would be getting. Okay, we came from there. So, oh, I guess we gotta Should've go down. Should have built that house long ago. Plumbing, that's Clean right. up this, fix that. Never seems to end. It's really pretty down here. Is that it? Little fishing spot. They don't want me to get up that far. I've seen you before, right? You recognize this mug, don't you? Uh, we can pass a charisma check to say, I apologize for my ignorance, but I would like to know who you are. Because that takes charisma. Or a luck check to say, uh, you're a famous author? Oh, is this, um, Delbert? Settler Reputation Cooperative. I think Paige mentioned you. You're an author, right? Let's do the luck one. Was that a guess? What the heck? Hmm. Maybe you have a deep-seated memory of me, buried within your psyche. Okay, I love it. Let's go with that. Ever since the war, I've been sort of scrabbling along, thinking of my books, making the best of it. I have enough time to write some more, and that's exactly what I aim to do. But in order to do that, I need a place to stay for a bit. And if you have a place, well, I would be happy to watch it for you. To tell you some stories. I'm a wealth of practical knowledge, kid. Oh, uh, okay. You can stay with me. I think I just might. Maybe just for a short while. Enough to catch my breath and rest my bones. Set out a comfy chair for me, will you? I need to pick up some of my things, and I'll be there soon. Okay. By the way, you can call me Gramps if you like. Everybody who knows me does anyway. Oh, cool. We we just got a new ally, I guess, for our... I'd uh... gladly walk up a hill in the snow if it means not eating from a garbage can again. Well, we'll do that the next time we're back at our uh, settlement. Or <laughs> camp. Cool. Can't interact with that one. Never mind. Where was Yeah. That? And looks like we've come full circle now. Well, that wasn't quite as big as I thought it was. It felt a lot bigger. Uh, yeah, this is where we talked with Paige. Where's Ward? We still need to find this Ward guy, right? There's a hollow tape, finally. Page's Journal, Entry 1. Well, we've arrived. We're finally here. <laughs> it's a damn sight better than the pit. Hopefully we can make a better go of things. 
Now that folks won't be afraid to start families. Some of us forgot what green living things looked like after the war. The only green we saw was the poison lingering in the air of the capital when we left on the last train out of Union Station. There's so much energy to build when you finally think things might be able to last. It's a home. A real home. <laughs> finally. I wonder how many of them came from uh, Pittsburgh. Maybe they all did. The outskirts of Pittsburgh and the Capital Wasteland. All right, I think that's it. Always wanted to retire in the forest somewhere. <laughs> well, you'll be happy, Forager. I've got a nice place in the forest for you. Well, uh, all right. What's looks happening? Like, looks like Ward must, must be topside. Let's go topside. <clears throat> See if we can find this guy wandering around. But I thought I explored the entire place. Gold, hey, gold press machine. <laughs> Guess I can't use it yet. Everyone's Dance hard at work. Subs. Oh, Grinders. Sonny always says his stuff will go on sale tomorrow. Somehow, Sonny always says his stuff will go on sale they tomorrow. Oh. Well, I'm having a hard time finding this ward guy. to do the boring jobs. I guess let's just go and find Aubrey. I guess find Aubrey at the observation camp. Where's that at? Okay, so it's just south of here. Let's go to the RNG station. No, wait, no. Let's just go up north from Vault 96. All right, Aubrey is up there. Uh, it's a big bluff off the road there. I think we sneak around back this side. On top of that plateau, I guess. Yep. Oh, is that a dead scorch beast? Well, I think after seeing the Scorch Beast, Aubrey is going to be receptive to what we have to say about the Scorched Plank. Am I really low on water again? Drink, drink, drink. That's what this game is. Whoops. Do I have any food? Just a little bit of flour. <laughs> that didn't help much. Oh, I need to go back to camp and make some food. All right, Aubrey, where are you? A victim of the scorched attack. We can examine the body or use perception to search under the body. Someone was trying to give this person medical attention before a scorched attack. 
You're able to recover some stim packs that were left behind for the victim. You notice a trail of footprints heading northeast. Perhaps Aubrey is still alive. No one else? Before I reload? So I'm not reloading after every shot? Goodness. Oh no, more dead settlers. Oh, they're all gone. Hey, new level. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, two fusion cores. Jackpot. Well, sad news about Aubrey's uh, friends here. Looks like they managed to kill a Scorch Beast, though. Look at that. They just got swarmed by the Scorched. And is this the Settler flag? Is that what that is? A hammer? Okay, where am I going next? I'm going up here, search for Aubrey. I guess the footprints go up this way. Well, after that attack, she should be receptive to what we've got to say. Oh, she found a little cave hideout. Secluded cave. Hello. Oh, Aubrey's the guy. Hi. Stay back. You with those things? Huh? Answer me. Uh, we could say Paige sent us, or we could say, I'm a friend, I'm not going to hurt you. All right. Just don't start yelling about the one or anything crazy like that. They hit us out of nowhere. Screams, gunshots, the sound of Kip getting his head caved in. God, I don't know how long I've been here. Guess I was just hoping it was all a nightmare, you know? Um, hmm, you better stay here, you might be infected. How do we know if he's infected? It's early enough for him to be inoculated, right? It's all over, you're safe. Thanks. I, um, yeah. I just needed to see a friendly face. I thought I'd be trapped here for the long haul. I don't have much to repay you. <laughs> well, I don't have anything at all, but if there's anything you need, just let me know. Um, the Scorched carry a disease. I need to convince Paige it's dangerous. Those things are caused by infection? If that's the case, Paige needs to know as soon as possible. Any disease that can claim a human mind and turn us against ourselves is a major threat. How is it spread? And what's the incubation period? The symptoms? Is there a treatment? Oh, that's a lot of questions. Uh, 
Uh, all I know is there's an inoculation, and you need to convince Paige to let me help you. Too many questions! Can you help me convince Paige or not? Or we can pass an intelligence check to say it's spread by direct contact, possibly droplets. Incubation is unknown, but there is an inoculation. Thank God for that. If there's an inoculation, we need to get that to Foundation yesterday. This disease of yours is no joke. Uh, we can threaten him, or we can say, all right, you can head home. Thanks again. I'll be damn sure to avoid those things on my way back. I'll uh, meet you there. Just need to rest. Okay, Aubrey, I'm going to explore your little cave, if you don't mind. Ooh, Ooh cola cherry. Instamash. I'm hungry. Had scorpion egg. Hey. Where's the insta mash? Huh? It's gone. I'll let Paige know what happened to you. God have mercy on all of us. All right, back to the foundation. Oh, there's Ward. Tony J says, why is Aubrey bobbing around like that? He looks like a character from that trash fire food fight. Well, I think he's probably just terrified after what happened to his camp and all of that. Maybe he's infected. Who knows? Deuteronomist says, hmm, unintentionally topical. <laughs> yeah, unintentionally. Have you seen my tool? No, never mind. I've just spotted him. All right, well, we're back at Foundation, and we can take the elevator down to talk to Paige. Let's see if we can find Ward. Is he over here? I wonder if Sonny has any ice cream now that he has a refrigerator. Great. Wow. This is nice. Alright, I hear Ward talking. But where is he? Holy cow, why is it so hard to find this one guy? Ward. We no longer stop. You're looking to trade? Water Check out Sunny's. Water is not. Also, I. What's that, John? Do not ask for. There he is. I've got my eye. No offense. Finally, someone with the guts to help. When we went to get our intrusion module, it was gone. I think it was taken by a thief. If you can get it back, we'd be very good. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I gotta turn the music down. Let's turn the effects off for now so that we can actually hear what Ward's trying to say. Finally, someone with the guts to help. When we went to get our intrusion module, it was gone. Maybe we think Ward it was taken by a thief. If you can get it back, we'd be very grateful. Grateful enough to pay you. Intrusion module? S uh, sure, sounds right up my alley. Excellent. Fortunately, we put tracking transmitters into the really sensitive stuff like that. I can show you roughly where it is, but you'll have to wait until you're closer to get an exact fix on it. Maybe Raiders Ward people living daylights out of one of our scouts. Again? Mark it on the map. We need to make sure they're not making a move on our territory. Yeah, did it already. 
Well, we wanted NPCs, and man, Sometimes we, we got them. Sometimes I like em. to chase the chickens. Don't tell anyone. They'll get mad. They, the quicker uh, you recover on missing equipment, the better. They love to talk. Holy cow. I just need to get away from all of these talking oh, people. Oh, no. Oh, oh, All right, let's, no. uh... I have ruined it. It is ruined. No, it is on sale. Uh, okay. He gave us a side quest? A daily? I don't even know. I just gotta get away from that music. Golly. There's only so much mouth harp I can I can stomach. <laughs> oh, all right, Paige. The solace of silence. You find Aubrey's camp? Should be him and about four or five others. Sorry. No Aubrey was the only survivor, and he backed me up. Like he should be here soon. Be time to fix it up or replace it. Damn it. <sighs> Looks like I'll be paying a few families a visit soon. All right. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. I'll get the details from him when he gets back. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, after that ordeal, if you see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. For now, you just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Happy to help. All right, I got some cams and some more purified water. Looks like I'm not gonna be thirsty anytime soon. Also looks like I need to repair my shotgun. It's getting pretty low. Um, is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the settler quest, that's it. What can I do for you? We can always use more hands. Okay, so I convinced them to get the inoculation. Do I have to come back or do daily quests or something? Uh, well, I guess let's do Ward's quest if we can find where that is. I think it was a, uh, a daily quest. Oh, the music stopped. Thank God. All right. Uh. Daily, Lucky Mucker, someone to talk to. Talk to the curator, Dos Cross Challenge. Talk to Ward, get within track. It is a daily quest. Maybe this increases our reputation or something, which unlocks other ability, other quests. Let's go plant. Let's go craft this chair so that the uh, forager can arrive at our camp, and then we'll go finish the daily quest. And then, if we can't find any more um, settler quests to do, I guess we can do the raider quest. Uh, there's his chair. <laughs> where should we put his rocking chair? Where can we... Where? What's a good spot for an old-timer to sit? Probably right out here by the shop. Yeah. By the booze bucket. Where is his chair? 
You can only have one ally workshop object placed or stored in your camp at a time. Okay. So I guess we just need to wait for the forager to arrive. Now let's repair my shotgun. And to do that, I need to swap out a card. Um... Trying to remember which one it is. Is it an intelligence? Uh, fix it good. Weapon artisan. You can repair any weapon to maximum. There we go. That's what it was. Now we'll repair my shotgun. Looking good. Anything else need repaired? I think we're good. Let's put my hat back on. To access the quests of a different ally, scrap the current ally workshop object placed in your camp. You can then place the object of your new ally and start playing their quests. All right, well, once the forager gets here, I'll do Scanning his ally quest. Nice. Boys and girls. Scanning. Scanning. No. Could be located. This word has become a desolate nightmare. Happy holidays. Let's eat up. Oh, it's preserved Instamash. Ah, I see. And an egg omelet. Uh, Vladimir says, Ox piercing magazine on a shotgun helps deal more damage, more damage to armored fo foes. Okay. Uh, you really want me to have that piercing uh, magazine. Okay, let's see. Shotgun. Um, drum magazine. I need gunsmith floor. Oh, that's right. Weapon artisan. Gunsmith. Drop the inert flux that weighs a bunch. All right, I'll... I'll Tackle that in a bit. Uh, magazine. Piercing magazine. Improved reload speed, armor penetration. And I've got the drum magazine, which... Superior ammo capacity. Uh, okay. There we go. All right, so while we wait for the forager to arrive at our camp, let's go um, get within tracking range of this thing. Also use super duper when I'm crafting things, I'll, I'll use super duper. But I don't think I need to use it when repairing things or upgrading things. Okay, use the Foundation Property Tracker radio station to find the stolen property. Optional, convince the thief to pay for the property. Fifty-eight. Sixty-four. Seventy-seven. Got it. 
Well, I, I couldn't convince him. <laughs> Looks like the Raiders and the Scorched were having a battle in here. They just attacked me on sight. All right, done. Easy. Return to Ward. All right. I wonder if uh, I wonder what I get by turning in this if daily quest. If we can get quest. the clock big enough, we can add chicken to the menu. I wonder if it's, if, if it's the sort of thing where we have to grind daily quests to get faction reputation, which unlocks more quests or something. Okay, he's over here. Ah, so this is Ward's house. Hey, Ward. Oh, come on. Come on. Let me talk to you. No, I don't want to sleep in your bed. I just want to talk to him. Can I not wake him up? Ah. <laughs> Gemma says, oh, dear, F-bombs. Thank you, Gemma. Always looking out for me. I can't talk to him. Because I got it. Because he's sleeping. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Well, what's that? Oh, that's just the icon of this particular place. Okay, I guess I gotta wait till morning. What time is it? It's 1.30 in the morning. Um, well, let's see if uh, Aubrey has gotten back. And if he has, maybe Paige is ready for the inoculation. <clears throat> I was singing Pain Train. Pain Train. All right, Paige, is Aubrey back? I don't suppose you know anything about plumbing. I could use someone good with pipes. Wow. We can always use more hands. He's really obsessed with plumbing. And uh, no, I guess Aubrey isn't back yet. Well, geez. Peter says, hey, just throwing something in. Is Fallout 76 Wastelanders Part 1 video still processing? I think so. Let me check. Uh, just, just a sec, reloading my YouTube dashboard here. Yeah, YouTube is still processing part one. Okay, uh... And he's still sleeping, so I can't get it, give it to him. Guess I just gotta wait till morning. All right, well, let's do something else in the meantime. Let's head back to camp and see if the forager has arrived. And if not, then let's just go do some of the raider quests, I guess. There he is. 
Oh, pardon me, kid. You know what you need? You need to get out of the house. And I got just the idea. A new weapon is a great find for any scavenger. And I know where you can get one. Oh, really? Uh, where am I going? Or actually, first, how'd you learn about this? It pays to keep in touch with people. <laughs> Simple as that. Where am I going? The person I heard from wasn't sure what kind of place it was, but I knew right away when they described it. It's a military compound. Uh-oh. Is there anything dangerous nearby that I should know about? Without a doubt, some blood eagles have staked out turf in that area, and they'll fight to protect it. Got it. I'll be back with the weapon in no time. I hope it's a good one. I'm sure there's nothing out there you can't handle. Let me guess, Sugar Grove. Allies, scavenger hunt. Oh, my finger, hunt. kid. Wait. Too late. Oh, <laughs> uh, this guy. Is, is this a daily quest? What kind of quest is this? Uh, side quest. Allies, scavenger hunt. And Cliff Watch. Okay. Not sending me too far away. I wonder what kind of weapon it is. I wonder if it's a legendary weapon or just some randomly world-placed weapon. Or I'm hoping it's one of the new weapons that come with Wastelanders. I still have yet to get a new weapon. I hear banjo. Stim pack. Stim pack. Getting all the stim packs. All right. No, 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 no. Back on blood eagles. Ooh, yeah. Hey, fusion core. I'll take it. One fusion core, and now I'm encumbered. Great. Okay, so where's this weapon? Oh. Ooh, what is it? Weapon case. Oh, I guess I don't get to know what's inside it just yet. Hey, what's this? Live and love. Talk yourself sober. All right, might as well use it. Uh, aid. Wow, I got 40 stim packs. They each weigh one pound. Holy cow. That's what's uh, really... Hmm. Plus two luck under the influence of alcohol. Okay. I'm right there. Is there any food I can eat? Inert flux. I could eat my perfectly preserved pie, but I don't want to. All right, back to camp then. Weapon mod, radium rifle, sh uh, scope, 
Squirrel bits. And blood fly meat. Perfect. But now I'm encumbered because of that doggone carrot. Plan for the broadsider. Do, do I have that yet? I guess not. Alright, and the sun is rising, which means we should be able to talk to Ward once we finish this. Let's find out what's in this weapon case. Back in my day, we didn't mutate willy-nilly. Hey! <sighs> Thanks a lot. I owe you one. An assassin's war drum. Okay, so is that, uh, is that all this settler forager is for? He just gives me a daily quest with a war with a, with a legendary you know, weapon? Licorice tastes better now. After the nukes. <laughs> what a funny guy. Oh, well, I've got a uh, an assassin's war drum now. I don't need all these mines and explosives they keep giving me. What is weighing, weighing me down? I feel like it's all I... It must be the stim packs. Can I store any stim packs? This unit will not be accepting requests to sit on Santa's lap. We apologize for the inconvenience. <clears throat> Scrap a Sultron head, that's... Eight pounds. Never give up. Just keep doing it. Don't make it through. Hmm, black titanium scrap. I don't know how much of this scrap I need. Loose springs. I've got a ton of loose springs. Where are my little elves? No, really? I fear for their safety.
That's a lot of aluminum. Uh, there, I'm good for now. All right, what time is it? It's 5.40 a.m. You think Ward is awake yet? Attempt to acquire a Christmas tree has failed reason. All trees contained highly dangerous. Let's find out. Alf says, why don't you just scrap it? You can't scrap legendary items. I'd have to take it to the purveyor, which I want to do. Um, I'll do that as soon as I have a chance. Let's see if we can turn in this daily, and then we'll go and uh, get the raiders inoculated. I hope we can set up more settlements like Foundation. Uh, got friends out there that... So glad to be away from the pit. There, he's All awake. These newcomers make me nervous. I see you have our missing property. I had to kill him to get it. Hope it was worth it. Piece of cake. They never knew what hit him. Glad to help. I'm donating my reward to the foundation. Uh, yeah, I probably need reputation. So let's do that. You are? That's very generous. Foundation thanks you. I'll get this. I didn't even push any button, it just knocked me out. Okay, so my reputation is going up. Got anything Another else for me, Ward? Hard work. Foundation is a good place. Someday, it'll be a great place. How did you end up at Foundation? The long, hard way. I'm ashamed to admit that I used to be a raider back when I was young. That's a hard life, and it took its toll on me. I began to question the purpose of what I was doing. There wasn't any. I guess maturity comes with age. Now I want a better place for everyone, not just me. I heard you're one of the Foundation's leaders. Me? Nah. I'm no more in charge than one of the turrets. I'm just a guy that works hard. When I see something that needs to get done, I do it. I haven't earned the right to be thought of as a leader. Not with my background. Can you tell me about any of the others? I'm not a gossip. Waste of time running your mouth about other people's problems. But I can tell you that the Taylors are good people. Derek is a fine carpenter. And Elsie knows how to handle herself in a fight. Alright, I guess that's it. Most folks here need a hand with something. Reach out. Gur, I'm here, says Yoax, where's part one? It's still I've processing. I've got my eye on you. No offense. Joe says, drop the inert flux. Okay. Hmm. Maybe some extra patrols over there. Right. Uh, we completed our daily quest. Let's now go do uh, Strange Bedfellows. Top of the world. And this is going to be our closest fast travel marker. Actually, let's go um, scrap our war drum thing at the Rusty Pick with the purveyor. Get rid of that. Because it's heavy and it's weighing us down. Actually, I wonder how many of these uh, weapon quests we can so get from Forager. Tension, but all I got is tension. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my finger, get a prize. Wait, That's it. This time it's well. <laughs> Nothing. So I guess he does it once a day. Okay. Uh, where's the rusty pick? Uh, it's over here somewhere. Okay. 
Tony J says, oh great, now the friggin' game is telling dad jokes. Uh, do they have one of the machines outside or do we have to go inside? Uh, I guess we gotta go inside. Oh, let's try our luck. No dice. Assassin's War Drum. All right. Now, we can go back here because it's cheaper. And then we can go to Top of the World. Talk with Rose. It'll be good to see Rose after all this time. Tip from Jason Bowers. Thank you, Jason. Well, hello there, Rose. Well, well, look who it is. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd show up. Not that I'm a stalker or anything. I totally saw you heading my way. So, <laughs> what's on your mind? You miss me? Um... Your plan worked, Rose. The Raiders are back. Like there was any doubt. I knew it wouldn't be long once I got the signal boosted. I need you to get me in touch with the Raiders. Right to the point, huh? That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you got to get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Uh, who are the people at Spruce Knob? Just a couple of hard-working losers. You know, the kind we like to refer to as suckers. They're giving Spruce Knob a real makeover, too. Putting up walls, rearranging furniture. That's a prime target, if you ask me. Can you tell me more about Meg? Meg thinks she's pretty tough since she ran off on Margie. She wasn't even around to see the end of it all. Bet she's loving the fact that they bailed at the perfect time. So she's bound to be way up on her high horse right about now. Alright, let's hear your plan. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Hmm. Uh, David? Emotional? Surprised? Sure, he may have killed and maimed a few people, but that doesn't mean he ain't got feelings. I'm pretty sure that's how this whole memorial thing came about. So if you're feeling lost right now, she's referencing the main quest to Fallout 76, uh, part of which was the Raider storyline, which mentions Dave and Rosalind. 
Rose here is basically an, a, a copy of the memory or personality of Rosalind, a raider. Um, what's this trophy you're talking about? Eh, just some old thing Rosalind made for David when they made him leader. You know, sappy romantic stuff. Ever since then, it's been like his own symbol of power. Tell me where the memorial is, and that program is as good as found. Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. Oh, fun. You, you know I do, Rose. Room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? We have to go back to the ski resort, don't we? Are you gonna join Meg and the others? Nah, not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to keep them coming. Besides, I'm cutthroat for life, and I got my little buddy here to keep me company. Um, after calling the raiders back, you don't want to lead them? Lead? <laughs> no way! Just thinking about that responsibility makes me twitch. I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. Plus, now that they're pouring in, you can bet Appalachia just got a whole lot more entertaining. And I got the best seat in the house. Too good for Meg and her crew, huh? Maybe they'd come here. Let's get to work then. Or we can pass Charisma of Four to say, it sounds like there could be more to it. Eh, this will always be home. I can't leave top of the world. That'd be like betraying David. And we both know that'll never happen. Also, I may have pissed off Meg once or twice back in the day. I mean, probably more, but who's counting, right? Besides, I got the best view in town, and I'm pretty sure that white crap blowing around in the valley would be hell on my filters. Too good for Meg and her crew, eh? Well, duh. I mean, when it comes to being a raider, I'm sort of the best there is, so that's a no-brainer. Maybe they'd come here? Doubtful. Meg's probably keen on carving out her own territory, and the crater does look pretty sweet. Minus all that powdery white crap. Eh, this'll always be cutthroat territory to her anyway, and no one wants a hand-me-down. Tip from Lucius Dunio. Thank you very much for that. Let's get to work then. <sighs> Back to business, just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? All right, one trophy and AI program coming up. Ha! I knew I could count on you. And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Whoa! <laughs> Rose, calm down. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> She's gonna bump right into me and knock me off the tower or something. Whoa! <laughs> that was the friend she was talking about, by the way. This um, fire breather. Could you could you just chill out for a second, Rose? Hey, 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 hey! I know I'm irresistible and all, but if you want to talk to Meg, you're gonna need that trophy and program stack. <laughs> oh God. Good old Fallout 76. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Yep, we got to go back to Pleasant Valley Cabins. Thankfully, we're already here pretty much. Uh, so let's just take the elevator down. Okay, David's Cabin. I think I remember which one that is. Oh, and they've highlighted it for me. That's kind of handy. I got my shotgun ready, because I'm a shotgun surge.
One shell, eight shells. Good gig to me. I probably don't need any more 45 ammunition. I'm probably fully stocked on that. All right, David's room was just over here. I remember I had to get like a key or something. To get in there. Oh, it's right on the other side. Oh, there it is, the trophy. David's trophy. Cool. Ah! What was that? Search for clues about Rosalind's memorial. Oh. David's bed? The bed has been modified to be more appropriate to the... Oh. Check under the bed or pass a strength check to look underneath the mattress. A hefty hoist of the mattress shows a secret stash of caps. Where'd you go? Search David's desk. The desk is well worn and has several drawers that could hold a clue about where Rosalind's memorial is located. We could search the desk or pass a perception check to closely examine the drawers. A close inspection of the desk reveals a hidden compartment with stim packs in one of the drawers and a photograph taped to the underside of the desktop. Photograph of Rosalind's memorial. Hey. Let's go to item. Oh, right. Trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you mean business. She may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the gourmands would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. So there's the memorial. What's it say on the back? Uh, I can't really read it. There we go. Remember our anniversary? I stole that huge stash of chems, and you found that secluded spot across from Ripper Alley. We spent that entire night under the stars. I'd never seen you happier. Gone. Rest in peace, dear Back. Rosalind, wherever you may be. Die dead and rotting in prison. All right, next up, we need to go get the AI program at her grave, and that's Ripper Alley. Which I believe we just recently went to, didn't we? Let's go get it. 16 times the details, says Brett. Well, it is pretty gorgeous. I don't know what it is, if it's because I'm playing in uh, 4K or because of my new graphics card, but for some reason, Wastelanders uh, looks a lot better than uh, 76 did. Uh, it may just be because my graphics card is allowing me to play on ultra everything right now. Okay. There it is. Rosalind's Grave and Ripper Alley. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? Where are you? He's gone. He just vanished. Okay. Well, whatever. Rose's AI program. Ooh, so that's where he's been hiding it. 
And that memorial ain't too shabby, especially since it's David we're talking about here. So now, you'll have to repair that holotape, and there's only one place I can think of that may still have a functioning terminal to do it. It's out at Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, what's tech like that doing out at such a cutesy little wilderness place? Let's just say some seriously intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need. Ho oh, oh, ho! Oh. I love this shotgun. Death claw meat, yeah. Gonna cook that up. Now Solomon's Pond by the Vantage. Not too far away. Vladimir says, Ox, they reworked all the lighting and the game looks much, much sharper now. Yeah, that was one of my biggest complaints about the way um, Fallout 76 looked. Exterior lighting in particular just looked really weird. It kind of looked like the entire world was under a dome lit with false lighting. Um, but now, I don't know what they did. I, I can't even describe how it's changed. It just looks much more realistic. Ooh, we got a new floater. Poison bad. I should probably remove my rads, huh? Ew. Floater pus sack. Ew. Welcome to member Liz. Thank you very much. So what kind of military grade tech do they have here at Solomon's Pond? Oh no! They're horrible. Uh, ho horrifying and horrible. Horrible. When I'm burning, it just keep coming. I hear something. And I don't know what this is. Like, what's this sparkling stuff coming out of the ground? Is it gonna explode or is that a glitch? I think it's a glitch. Terminal password. So it's in the basement. Looks like we need to go inside and take the staircase down. I think that's a glitch. 
I think it's supposed to like be dead or exploded or something. Well, now we don't have to hack it. We found the password. Holotape repair terminal. Enter password. Bingo. Holotape repair. Active user Agent Kensington. Why does that name ring a bell? Agent Kensington? Current holotape will be discarded and a new holotape will be issued. Please make a selection. Confirm. There we go. Talk to Rose. Agent Squire Gomez. Is she going to reach out to me or do I have to go all the way back? I guess I got to go all the way back. This is new, isn't it? I don't remember this beneath uh, Solomon's Pond before. Chris says, Hey, Ox. Woke late. Still downloading the update. Hope to see you in the game for a photo. Name's Blue Raven. Wearing your end of dungeon uh, steamer truck shirt. That's great, my, my friend. Uh, I hope you uh, have a speedy download. Well, I'm glad we got to see some of the new creatures. Hey, here's more of that fire coming from the ground here. That's new, isn't it? That's interesting. I what that is. Oh, wait, I've got that death claw meat that I need to grill up. Is there a cooking? There's got to be a cooking station around here somewhere. It's got every other station. There's one. Thanks for the tip, Eric Bone. Corey says, I'm pretty sure the fire is a bug. Had it for a while. That's the first time I've seen it. But I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Liz Andrews. I'm coming, Rose. I surely did. Um, can you tell me more about David and Rosalind? Eh, they were into each other. David was never able to recover her body, so he made the memorial in secret. Didn't really want the others to see him all soft like that. Why would David block access to some of your memory banks? <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. So what do you think is on it? First off, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosalind. I'm thinking it's like action-adventure meets romantic comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. Second, it's the code <laughs> I need to unlock some sealed-off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. Well, here's the AI program. As usual, so reliable. I love it. 
I gotta admit, I've got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocked files. On one hand, I'm sure David had his reasons for cutting me off. On the other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. Uh, okay, we can say, just scan for the words you need. Avoid the emotional baggage. You should take it all in. You deserve to know what he blocked. Uh, <laughs> take it all in, Rose, and then tell it all, all to me. You know, you're right. I definitely deserve to know. Now, just give me a second. Bleak, bloop, blorp, I'm a computer. <laughs> uh, oh my god. God, talk about some serious drama here. This is some depressing shit. I mean, I knew David never got to say goodbye, but he really did hide what he went through. Four options. He must have loved her very much. He made you, after all. Are you gonna cry? Tough! Not like he's the first. Or we can pass a charisma check to say, you really should talk about it. What types of memories did you unlock? Oh, God. Ugh, like a soap opera on overdrive. You know, boring stuff that no one cares about. Oh, I can't pass the charisma check. We could say, I'd just love to know more about the memories. David sounds so fascinating. Oh, I'm not going to get them out of him. I never thought Dave of David as the boring type. Yeah, not interested. Forget I asked. Or a perception of four to say, I get the feeling you really want to talk about it. You can tell me. David was an interesting guy. He loved his wife and kids as much as he loved Rosalind, so losing them in the war wasn't easy. Rosalind helped him through that, so when he lost her, that was just about the end of the world for him. Ouch. He never talked about any of this with you? Obviously he talked about it with me, silly. He just didn't want me to remember, so blocked off all those memories. That's why I needed that program, to access those sealed off conversations. How did he move on? Uh, by creating a yours truly, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm blowing the shit out of the Summersville Dam. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good old fashioned revenge, right? Alright, let's move on, Rose. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, the plan. Let me just run some filters, a little arts and crafts, and... <gasps> Are you kidding me? All this data and I don't have the one word I was looking for? <sighs> okay, hate to break it to you, but I need you to go back out there and find me just one more itchy teachy witchy hollow tape. Oh, great. <laughs> well, Best where do you want me to look? Arctos Pharma, David's oh. old corporate stooge job. I need you to find me a holotape with David saying the word negotiate. David worked at Arctos Pharma? Um, David was a le leader and never used the word negotiate? Yep, no negotiate, no compromise. It was his way or the highway. It's part of what made him such a badass leader. So what's this plan of yours? Just using my amazing skills to put together a little broadcast for Meg with David's voice. If she thinks there's even a chance that David's still alive, I guarantee she'll come running. Ooh, Not because she likes him or anything. Ugh, gross. But if David pulled through and she bailed, she knows he'll be out for her. I'm on it. One holotape coming up. My hero. Now get out there and don't get yourself killed. Okay. Did I just say that? <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom. <laughs> don't spaz out on me, Rose. <laughs> you can do it. You're okay. All right. Well, Arctos Pharma, here we come. Oh, we got to find this holotape. Where in the world could it be? I hope we don't have to go to the labs beneath it. Okay, find a holotape with the word negotiate. Oh, 
Sure. Easy breezy. Uh, where to even begin? Oh, look at all those hollow tapes we can get. Identify yourself. Uh-oh. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. False alarm. Didn't you hear me coming? Now I have to fight. Bloody fantastic. <laughs> train didn't work that time. I think they're all still above me. Thor, ten three seventy seven. Tessa, I need those reports by three days. Are you ready for me? Nervous as hell, but ready as I'll ever be. I'll be nervous. If I didn't think you could do it, you wouldn't be going. That's oddly reassuring, coming from you. Take it as a compliment. You've got the business sense and legal background to have my job if you wanted it. I'd even venture to guess you're recording this very conversation. I will neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> And that is why I have every reason to believe you'll be running this company someday. You're gonna do fine today. See you in an hour. See you there. So David was some sort of Damn. cutthroat. He's good. He'll never incriminate himself. This may take a while. Ah, uh, he was some sort of uh Cutthroat corporate stooge. I guess it's no surprise he became a raider. Oh, on the other side. There we go. Oh, and I'm thirsty. Okay, there's note to self. And then one in the trash. <laughs> Board meeting. Let's do note to self first. Oh my gosh. I just want to listen to these hollow tapes without being interrupted. Is that okay? Alarm. Standing. A note to self, book tickets to Pleasant Valley, also book to DC in case Rita bothers to check up on me. Oh yeah, and tell Rita to fire that cook, what's her name, because she completely ignored my express distaste of pickles. <laughs> Pretty sure she does it on purpose at this point. <laughs> okay, and finally, this has got to be it. All right, folks, these terms are ridiculous, absurd even. I'm not signing until we see at least 80% profit. These terms are perfectly reasonable. Since when are environmental laws and fair wages ridiculous and absurd? Since they take away 30% of the profits we're set to gain, Lawrence. You can talk to me about fair wages when you give up your bonus. Come on, David. We need to wrap up this deal. Our partners are getting impatient. There has to be room for negotiation here. Here it comes. I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate here. Bingo! Our partners are only impatient because they need this deal more than us. They just hope we don't realize it. 
Now go back to your desks and figure out how to get me that 80%, or I'll find someone else who can. Ruthless, cutthroat, corporate America. David Thorpe. 80s guy. Right, uh, back to Rose. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right, I gotta wait because I'm close to enemies. Eh, there we go. Tony J says you'd look one second away, and suddenly you've got a Sputnik up your butt. They do kind of sneak up on you, don't they? We're back, Rose. Third time's the charm. Okay, I've got him saying the word negotiate. All right, time to finish this little pet project. How did David go from corporate executive to cutthroat leader? Leadership skills, charisma. David was a full package, really. Not to mention just a whole lot of tall, dark, and handsome. I think it did him some good to finally blow off some real steam. You know how corporations and their HR are big fans of murder. <laughs> of course. That would be against HR policy. Here's the holotape. Ooh, I gotta admit, I don't have many files on David and Rosalind talking about their pre-Raider days, so this will be pretty interesting. I'll just give it a quick listen. Yep, sounds like David all right. <sighs> Ruthless even then. Getting back to business, a little slice and dice, some audio love, and voila! Mission accomplished. All you gotta do now is take a quick trip to the nearby relay tower and set up a new transmitter to get this bad boy broadcasting. Okay. You're kidding, right? You can't do it here? Look, I need a new transmitter hooked up. I ain't gonna sacrifice my own signal just as you can get some FaceTime with Meg. What does this entail? Oh, just using a holotape to set up a new connection so I can transmit this message. Nothing fancy. Sure, nothing I haven't done before. Oh yeah, I heard that old Duchess lady's radio signal start up a while back. <laughs> uh. Should've known that was you. Here's the program <laughs> you'll need to run at the relay tower. Just load it up and follow directions. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, really. And here, as a token of my gratitude, you can have this old holotape back as a souvenir. It's funny, because we could have done these quests in any order, and uh, because we did it in this one, she references what we did for Duchess, which is a nice little touch. Okay, which nearby tower does she want me to use? This one. Okay. By the Sons of Dane compound. Sure, why not? So we're gonna find more super mutants here and more turrets. No, they're already dead. Great. Ah, uh, load hollow tape. Um Which one? Load the hookup holotape. 
the hookup. Congratulations on not screwing this up. Now prove you're not a moron and select activate transmitter connection. Failure to do so means you're an idiot. Hugs and kisses and cams, Rose. <laughs> activate transmitter connection. Remote transmitter connected. Beginning recorded message loop. Hey, uh, mate. Listen up. I'm David fucking Thorpe. Get your ass over here. Top of the world is where it's at. Mezzanine. It's time to negotiate. Or I will kill every last one of you. Hey, May. Listen up. Broadcast loop confirmed. Congratulations. Your transmitter is now connected. Beep. All right. <laughs> is that great or what? Anyway, confession time. Sure, I could have got Meg out here lickety split. I mean, don't get me wrong, she really ain't my biggest fan. But believe me, this broadcast way more fun. Now, you probably want to haul ass back to the mess, cause uh, something down there's making all the racket, and you're gonna want that place nice and tidy for when Meg shows up. Happy to amuse you, Rose. Looks like we gotta go clear some monsters out. Before the raiders show up. Back to top of the world. Fourth time to charm. Time's the charm, I guess. Up we go to the mezzanine level this time. Clear out the hostels in the mezzanine. Can do. <clears throat> Top of the world is actually a really cool place to explore. The mezzanine level was pretty nice. There just wasn't a lot here. Okay. Super stealthy in my power armor. We got some scorched. What did I say? Super stealthy? Oh, yeah. Oxhorn stealthy, anyway. <laughs> Always one. Oxhorn stealth is the best stealth. Any more? What? Oh, yeah. It's my shotgun sniper rifle. <laughs> Oh, 
hate that little hesitation after you make a landing. What? Where? Oh. <laughs> I think she got hurt by her own uh, uh, explosive there. Is that it? Yeah. And here's Meg. Hello, Raiders. Welcome to the party. <coughs> you must be Meg. The hell is this? Where's Thorpe? Three options. David's not here. I had Rose send the message. You came to talk, right? You can talk to me. Sorry to mislead you. I wanted to talk, and this was the only way. We should probably be tough. Bullshit. I'm only here for David. If that bastard survived, I want to see him. Now where is he? David's not here. I had Rose send the message. You got that old diaper pail on your side? So who the hell are you? Don't tell me you're one of those worthless settlers. Hmm. I'm from Vault 76. Holy shit, a vault dweller! Even better. You come scurrying out of your little cubby hole and you think you can start making demands? Think again. If it weren't for Vault 76, you'd have no Appalachia to come back to. Excuse me. Boy, you got some fire in you, I'll give you that. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we might owe you that. So, 7-6, what's this all about? I have David's trophy. David's trophy, huh? Wow, you must be dead. Or turn tail if you've managed to get your hands on it. Huh, I take it this means you recognize me as leader around here. Hmm, smart. Looks like you've got yourself a brain after all. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll spare you a minute to tell me what you want before I get back to retaking Appalachia. Okay, three options. The only thing that matters right now is the Scorched Plague. Appalachia belongs to all of us. What do you mean, retaking? You left this place behind. We left to survive. And if you hadn't noticed, it was the right choice. You can't just claim everything for yourselves just because we stepped out. Why not? Appalachia belongs to all of us. Yeah. Margie was into all that live and let live talk. I hate to break it to you, she ain't in charge now. I am. The only thing that matters right now is the scorched plague. Uh-uh. You don't get to talk to me about that. We lost everything to that disease while you were all sitting pretty underground. Actually, we kind of cured it. Um... All you did was kill and loot. Anything you lost, you deserved. They teach you how to look down on people in those vault classes? While you were stuffing your face with years worth of supplies? Only one thing keeps you alive out here, 7-6. Take or get taken. Uh, that attitude is why you couldn't defeat the Scorched. But the inoculation can help you, or you're lying to yourself, trying to justify all that blood on your hands. Oh. Is this going to make us enemies if we just keep on pressing this home? Because this is what I want to say. Now well, let's just do it. <laughs> Think I'm going to take a guilt trip about killing? <laughs> oh, daddy-o. You really have been in the dark, haven't you? Yeah, I kill people. You know what? I sleep like a baby afterwards. Because that means less assholes to worry about. Death is the ultimate end of an argument. You better get wise to that. Um, we're all dead if we don't get your people inoculated against the Scorched, or you're lucky we need you inoculated, or I'd make you back up those words. Hmm. Why exactly do we need them inoculated if we're just gonna kill them? <laughs> uh, let's just get him. let's get him inoculated. Inoculation? That's just some bullshit the responders made up to sucker the weak out of their supplies. Didn't fall for it then? Sure as shit ain't falling for it now. 
Peyton says, hey, Oxhorn, thanks for the amazing content. And I'm finally getting back to Fallout 76. I stopped at, like, level 20. Don't remember trips for caps. Uh, don't worry about it, my friend. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the broadcast. And I hope Wastelanders gives you something to come back to. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't pass any of these. I need an intelligence of eight or more to say it's made of synthetic antibodies from species that display resilience. I tested the efficiency myself, or the efficacy myself, or a charisma of eight to say you'd risk your life and the lives of your crew based on your own distrust of the responders. You lose nothing if this doesn't work. So sadly, my character is stuck with these two. The scorched are coming whether you believe me or not, or you didn't trust the responders. Why? Look, I don't trust anyone. And I especially don't trust anyone who says they're just here to help. I know enough about people to know they've all got an agenda. And for most, that's looking out for number one. Themselves. At least with my crew, we're straight about it. No one here came with me based on false promises. They're here because I'm their best bet at staying alive. And once that ain't true, they'll either bail on me or turn. And I'll be ready. Here, finally we can pass something. If you had worked with them, you could have stopped the Scorched. You're right, they were just pushing people around. Or, a perception check to say responder base, bases probably made tempting targets for you. Charisma of four for community building often requires collective effort and sacrifice. Intelligence of four to say you're arguing that collectivism is never worth the sacrifice to individual autonomy? <laughs> okay, we'll do that one. <sighs> you're giving me a headache, seven six. But yeah, something like that. That inoculation idea was just a way to get us to march to their tune. Wasn't anything more than that. Okay. Responder bases probably made tempting targets for you. Ain't that the truth. That's what made it so stupid. Like target signs on their damn back saying, Hey, come and get it! Oh, the idiots. And that inoculation idea of theirs was just one big lie, dig? Why is everybody in the wasteland an anti-vaxxer? The, the settlers and these raiders, what the heck? All right, the charisma of four. Community building often requires collective effort and sacrifice. That just sounds like a sack of rules to get people to do what you want. That's not a party I want an invite to. Uh, you're full of crap. Just like that inoculation idea of theirs. Mm. If you had worked with them, you could have stopped the Scorched. Oh, please. They would have just used us as meat shields while they sat back to figure things out. We would have been dying while they worked on that imaginary inoculation of theirs. Goodness gracious, these guys are really hard. Um... Hey, maybe we can get that last dialogue check. Or that Look, I don't trust option. anyone. I know enough about them. At least with my crew. They're here. You're right. They were just pushing people around. You're finally getting hip. Just still peddling that inoculation idea of theirs. Well, that gets us one more dialogue option. So, that's a dead end. We'll go the Scorched are coming, whether you believe me or not. Oh, I know all about the Scorched. Got my own plans. Like wiping them out. Yeah, Brotherhood could do it. Why don't you take it. a look yourself? Got a raid going down right now that can show you how it's done. Oh, so I got to I got to raid them. Oh, great. Where's this raid happening? Up north a ways, closer to the crater. Ain't gonna let any of those things linger too long near our base. Fine, I'll check on them. But if your way doesn't work. You get inoculated. Oh, I'll take that bet. You'll see. We're back. We ain't gonna let anyone stand in our way. Head out to their location and find Aldrich. Tell him I sent you. Once you got it all wrapped up, head back to our base. It's the crater. Built out of that old space station? Believe me, you can't miss it. Okay. Current standing hostile, uh... Hey, okay, I'm no longer hostile to the Raiders. Uh, is there any more I can say with Meg? Pretty sure you got somewhere to be. Guess not. 
What about her goons? If someone gets a bigger cut than you, something's up. So watch your back. Hey! No sudden movements. I'm watching you. Yeah, I bet you are. Right. Check on Aldridge. All right, so he's all the way over here. We got quite a ways to go. Uh, let's... Well, you know what? That's that's equidistant almost. So I might as well fast travel all the way there. Um, let's go to Ga Granger Farm. 25 caps. Jay-Z says ox use chems. Uh, do I need to heal myself? Am I, am I low on health? Yeah, uh, let me see where I'm at. No, oh, I'm not too bad. Is that where I need to go? Yeah, it is. Hmm. He backs up. Thought I heard something. Damn, I was just getting started. No. Oh. Don't thank me. I've got an undiscovered location over here. Must be new. Ox used chems to pass the checks. Oh, yeah. Well, too late now. Oh, well, the long route probably gets me um, more of the story anyway. If I pass the checks to just convince them, I wouldn't be doing all these side gigs, you know, so. Better for the lore videos eventually. Not us. Trailer interior. And a similar situation. How you doing, Aldridge? Who the hell are you? What happened here? The Scorched. They tore us apart. We, uh, had it under control for a while. I thought we were finishing them off. And then more. Out of nowhere. And they just kept coming. Meg sent me to check on you. Well, ain't I flattered. Sure she ain't gonna be too happy to see those scorch rode over us like nothing. With my luck, I'm just gonna end up like one of them things. It doesn't have to be that way. There are solutions. Solutions? Uh, best news I heard all day. You got some cure or something? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. Uh, there's no cure. Only death can prevent you from becoming scorched. <laughs> Kill yourself. It's the only way. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> um, well, let's see what he wants. If he wants me to kill him, I'll kill him. If he wants to kill himself, he can do that. Well, what the hell is it then? Do I look like I'm in the mood for bullshit right now? Only death can prevent you from becoming scorched. Do you want to kill me? Hey, I, I don't think I'm quite ready for drastic measures here. There's no guarantee I'll be one of them. Please, look, I, I'm begging you. Just say you never saw me. No one has to know, and you'll never see me again. Hmm. You won't survive. I'll make it quick and painless. You want to suffer and turn into one of those things? Fine. Or charisma of eight. You know it's the right thing to do. Or attack. Uh... You want to suffer and turn into one of those things? Fine. Shit. Like that makes me feel any better? I... I'm just not ready for this. Let me take my chances. 
If I turn, I'm stuck in this trailer. No one gets hurt. It's a slow, painful process. You don't want that. Fine, I'll let you live. No way, you're infected and need to be put down. How do we know he's infected, though? Just because he came into contact with the Scorched? Um, let's try and convince him. Or fine, I'll let you live. Uh... Jesus, man, I can't barely handle what I'm dealing with now. Fine. Just do it. I just want it to end. Oh, man, I gotta kill him. Let's get this over with. Well, just do it. All right. Sorry, Aldridge. Well, why do I feel so bad about that? <laughs> All right, meet Meg at the crater. Uh, I need a bio break and I need to get some water. I'll be right back. Right. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Sorry about that. Thank you for your patience. Uh, let's see. Jessica says, uh, love you and your work. Psyched about Wastelanders. Is part one not public yet? Let me check. Yeah, it's still processing. YouTube is taking a really long time to process this. It is a four-hour live stream, so... Yeah, it, they're still processing it, so it's not public yet. Uh, I Dao Ponzori says, Is this update an up or a down? So far, it's an up for me. I'm having a good time. Okay, talk to Meg at the crater. Uh, water, 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 water. I'm thirsty. Let's try booze. Water, do I have any food? I thought I had some food. Deathclaw steak. There we go. All right, let's go meet Meg.
Scorch Beast attacked here as well. Look at that. Sucker. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, I need to go that way, don't I? How far away? Not that far. Just a quick run north. Let's do it. Oh man, I missed out on the perfectly preserved pie. Good for you, man, says Kelly. It's the free one you get at the top of West Tech. I didn't actually succeed at um, gaining access to one through a machine. There's one just sitting on the rooftop of um, West Tech. <laughs> so that's the one that I got. Let's see what the Raiders have done to this place. Okay, looks like this is the front door. Let's go through the front door. Oh, looks like they've got a gauntlet up here. You must be that rookie Meg's talking about. Gonna save us all? <laughs> Not by the look of it. So you're the one we ain't supposed to kill. Better watch yourself, pal. Okay, I'm watching myself. Scientist is still there. Heard you've done a few odd jobs around here. We'll see if you make the cut. What is this place? Crater is what you outsiders like to call Raider territory. Want to be welcome here? You earn it. How'd you build this place? I ain't got a clue. Fisher and his crew put this place together. The only hard labor I do is raiding settlers. How long have y'all been here? Long enough to know we got a bunch of people trying to take what's ours. Settlers, blood eagles, even some damn cultists. We may not all have been here back in the day, but Meg sure was. So we're just back to collect. If answering your damn questions means you'll leave me alone, let's hear them. <laughs> Who are you? <sighs> Name's Axel. I've been with this crew long enough to know they don't trust anyone who can't pull their own weight around here. Who's in charge? That'd be Meg. If you don't know that by now, maybe you ought to reconsider what you're doing here. Goodbye. That's right. Keep moving. Munch said aliens took the space station down. I always knew they were out there. Well, she is right about that. Ooh, daily, the importance of communication. Ren needs parts to maintain Crater's communications. Okay. Well, let's uh, deal with it the same way we did with the Foundation. Let's go clockwise. Starting by going up here. Payton says, what's your favorite? Oh, we got another daily? Two dailies. Deal with former Crater gang members. Oh. Peyton says, what's your favorite Fallout? Me, New Vegas, or three? Um, I don't really have a favorite. I like them all for very different reasons. Gun Shop. Is your name Sunny too? Avery. Hey, just because something is stolen doesn't mean the quality is any less, right? What does she actually have for sale? Uh, not a lot. 
Ammo. Really, that's about it. Funny how they're raiders, but they still barter for camps. Ooh, plenty of workbenches. Nice. Sounds like the party's going on over here. A whale of a tail. Munch's memoirs, a whale of a tail. Most of the kids here don't know the truth about whales. They used to be the largest, most feared land predators in North America. You always knew when they were coming because of the whale quakes. They'd wake from hibernation out of the ground and start burrowing their way to the surface. Once on land, they were a force Attention, citizens. of pure destruction. Nuclear strike imminent. Please uh, exit the area at your earliest convenience. A single whale could take Thank down a whole building if it was still in their way. They had razor sharp fins to slice people in half and gruesome baleen for teeth. If they sucked you in, that baleen would slice you up like a loaf of bread. The kids found some old bones while digging out the core. I told them they were lucky, not only because it was dead, but because that one was just a baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, where are they going to drop the nuke? Not on me, hopefully. They're dropping it right on my camp! Ha! <laughs> no! Someone's dropping! <laughs> my camp is done! <laughs> no! It's got to be a viewer! <laughs> Somebody's dropping it right on my camp. Oh, well, goodbye, camp. <laughs> oh, no. The Great War. Much as memoirs, the Great War. People want to blame the Great War on communism, but communism's only fault was covering up the truth. Back in the day, the Raiders had the power. We ruled these corporations and every major city. We had the military in our pocket and every corrupt politician in our corner. And I'm not talking nationwide. I'm talking worldwide. We were unstoppable. So of course, someone had to try, right? These countries didn't nuke each other because of communism. They nuked each other to stop the raiders. And after all said and done, look who's standing. Um, my name is Ghost says, do you still make music and who's your biggest influence? I haven't made any new songs in a long time. And um, gosh, when it comes to music, I don't really know if I have any real influences. I like a wide range of, of music. <laughs> log out and log back on. I suppose I could. I could dash out real quick. I, I, I honestly don't care. I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens if my uh, my camp gets blasted. <laughs> Someone's trying to nuke my camp. I can't believe it. The Nova Orbital Station. Macha's memoirs, the no Nova Orbital 01. Long before we ever landed a man on the moon, USSA had already launched a top secret program to create the world's first space station, the Nova Orbital 01. The space, race was uh, the space race was real, but the true mission was to gather information on the alien species that infiltrated our planet. The town of Flatwoods had already seen them. We knew they were out there, but we couldn't have a panic on our hands. We didn't know that the alien motives, so the public could know nothing. Once the Great War hit, the aliens made their move. They knocked old Nova Orbital right out of the sky, and here she lies. We found her, we rebuilt her, and now she's Outpost Crater 01, the best home in all of Appalachia. Oh, my camp right in... My, my vending stall is down. See that? I had a vendor stall open, but it got destroyed by the nuke. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, can you wake up and talk to me much? What are you doing? Well, okay. Much. I want to talk. Let's chat. Tell me about your stories. They told us we had ourselves a vault dweller getting their hands dirty around here. Welcome to Outpost Crater One, kid. 
<laughs> you sound pretty ra uh, friendly for a raider. Oh, we've got all types here. You think just because we've got a reputation for killing and stealing, we can't be civilized? That's what I call being narrow-minded, kid. Um, what is Outpost Crater 01? Just look around, kid. Good old OC-1 was once a grand space station, sent up on a top-secret mission to monitor alien activity here on Earth. In fact, aliens are what brought her down in the first place. They didn't like us trying to spy on them. And after the Great War, you can bet they'll be working to dominate this planet. Slowly but surely. You believe in aliens? You don't? vault -Tec must have given you quite the brainwashing in there. You gotta open your eyes, kid. It may not be today or tomorrow, but give it time. Oh, they're out there. Let's just look around. In fact, and after the... I've seen them. The alien invasion is real. You're damn right it is. And it's just a matter of time before they're here in force. Just look around. In fact, and after the... How would you even know? You think I've been running with these mercs all my life? I had my own share of escapades before the war. Government conspiracies, top secret installations. I was in it. Who are you? The name is Munch. Most people would probably say I'm just a crotchety old man with a shotgun. <laughs> but if you ask me, I'm what you'd call the resident historian, storyteller, guru type around here. Gemma says, oh, what about your companion? Oh, you're right. My forager companion, he's probably done. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means these kids don't know jack shit about the world. And I aim to keep them interested. I may embellish a bit here and there, but what's the harm? How do you learn from a fake past? You'd be surprised. Besides, what do you learn from the real past? Killing and stealing is wrong. Those two reasons are why most of us are alive today. The name, if you ask me. History is important. Damn right it is. Building blocks of society, I tell you. That's why I intend to give the blocks a little upgrade. These kids could care less about anything that really went down. That's why you gotta polish that shit. <laughs> Keep their attention. So you're lying to them? <laughs> Semantics. That old world is long gone. It's just us to rebuild all this shit. Why waste time on telling them how things used to be? I intend to spice it up. Let these kids be amazed by possibility. Those are the minds I want rebuilding this world. And then there's the one more I believe we missed. West. It means he's... Rewrite writing the past sounds good to me. That's the spirit. Why bore someone to death when you can blow their minds? <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. See you around, kid. Oh, my poor camp is done. Oh, but look, everybody's at the ruins of my camp, too. Look at them all coming in. Oh, no. We'll head that way later. I don't think I have it in me to see what it looks like right now. Let's explore the rest of this moon base. Or orbital space station base. Drilling thing. Hello, Creed. Worshipping a monster? Those Mothman cultists totally lost it. Oh, um... What if the cult is right and the Mothman really is a god? What? The hell with that. If anything out there's a god, it's the Megasloth. You seen that thing? <laughs> hell, I might just start a cult of the Megasloth. Except we won't be complete nut jobs like those Mothman cultists. We could have rituals like drinking a beer with the Megasloth or making sacrifices to it, you know? I got it. We could sacrifice those Mothman cult lunatics to the Megasloth. Ha! <laughs> That's perfect. I think I'm onto something here. I like the way you think, Creed. Let's see what the other ones are. What? Whoops. The hell? 
Hell, we could have rich. I got it. Raiders can be pretty crazy too sometimes. Nah, see, we're a different kind of crazy. We're the hard partying, guns blazing, push it to the limit crazy. The fun kind. Those cultists are hopeless fanatics, giving their life for some weird ass monster that'll probably just as soon eat them. What do you know about the cult of the Mothman? Bunch of psychos and rogues. They think our turf is some kind of holy land, and they'll risk death to protect it. That suits me just fine. I'll throw down with those nut jobs anytime, anywhere. I heard they've settled in over at Point Pleasant. Maybe we should pay them a not so friendly visit, you know what I mean? Point Pleasant, eh? So that's where the Mothmen are. Okay, see you around. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Red of War says, do you think the DLC is going to redeem Fallout 76? But I always loved the game from day one, and big fan, love to play with you sometime. It's Skirt Gamer. Um, well, you know, I think that there are many people who uh, uh, were disappointed in Fallout 76 for not having NPCs. And for them, I think the DLC is going to be a big uh, blast of fresh air. But the, then there are people who are always going to like it, and people who are always going to hate it. So, uh, you know, that's just the way it is when things like that. Okay, airlock. Does that bring us inside? No. Oh, so we can see how they changed this. Another day, another asshole dead who didn't listen to me. Hello, Ren. Great. Meg's latest lapdog here to waste my time. What do you want? And make it quick. I got shit to do. <clears throat> um, I'm not doing anything for Meg. I'm looking out for myself. Sure. That's exactly the kind of shit Meg wants you to believe. Bet you ain't no sucker either, right? <sighs> now, since I just love repeating myself, what the hell do you want? Um, what's with the attitude? You seriously taking up my time to ask me about my attitude? Something tells me you best be on your way while I'm still in a good mood. <laughs> Oh, okay, we can... I didn't mean to upset you, I was just curious. This is your good mood? Or a perception check to say, look, I can tell this is all a front. You can drop the act. Or a strength check of eight to say, I could break you in half, so you better start explaining. Well, we should probably be tough to these raider folks, so let's intimidate them. Fine. As you've noticed, I ain't exactly a heavy lifter, and on account of me being 18 years old, people like to think they can push me around. So that's why I got this attitude. But make no mistake, Rook. You cross me, and I'll slit your throat faster than you can cry for mommy. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the other ones were. You seriously take... The perception check is... No, you look. You drop your guard around here, show weakness, these people will be all over you. This attitude of mine is what keeps me alive and respected around here. And you should learn from that, Rook. You serious? This is your good mood? <laughs> you bet your ass it is. And if Meg's gonna keep you around, you better get used to it. No Name says I'm still upset about Santa Bot. Oh, that's right, they destroyed my Santa Bot. <laughs> you seriously? I didn't mean to upset you, Ren. I was just curious. Curiosity can get you cut around here, Rook. You better get wise, as Meg would say. There's your free life lesson from yours truly. You're welcome. My name is Ghost says Game Pass is on PC. Would you consider covering Halo? Maybe, but I have a lot of ge other games that I'm wanting to cover first. So, who are you, Ren? Around here, I go by Ren. And I run communications for this dump. You going on a raid, the details go through me. When I relay info, you listen. I didn't get dragged back here to have people die on my watch. You get me? Dragged back? Where were you before? With, uh, where were you here before with Meg? Pretty much born and raised a diehard till we bailed on Margie. A damn good thing we did, too. If them Scorch wiped out the responders in the Brotherhood, you bet your ass they'd be picking us off like flies. Unlike you vault dwellers in the Free States, we didn't have any cozy little bunkers to hole up in. But now that you're out, welcome to the world of survival, Rook. Ooh, a charisma check of 12. Wow. Uh, yeah, I can't pass that even with camps. Holy cow, I've only got four charisma. Um, 
People die when they don't listen, or it's not easy listening to people die. Hmm. Exactly. Glad to see you're picking up what I'm putting down, rookie. Now enough with the idle chit chat. You need something? Cause I got work to do. Um. Around here, when I relate. I don't plan on dying. <laughs> That's what they all say. Till they're screaming for their life over comms. It's not easy listening to people die. I just say they've learned the hard way. I may be young, but that don't mean I'm stupid. Now enough with the idle chit chat. You need something? Cause I got work to do. Just looking for a way to make a few extra caps. You're looking mm -hmm. for work? Well, why didn't you say so? This whole place is really hard in my communications tech. So I need someone who can come up with the parts to fix it. You in? What's in it from me? Don't worry, you'll get paid. Unlike some people here, I can guarantee it. All right, what do you need? I need a few radio vacuum tubes. And thanks to some good intel, I know just where you can find them. I'll update your pit boy with all the info you need. And remember, I need salvageable parts. Not just any metal scrap you see. Okay, we've got a new side Better quest. double those generators. Can't have the comms going down in the middle of a raid. Let's see what's on this terminal. Uh, communication status online. Congratulations. It's been zero days without an incident. Prospects. Sons of Dane. Recon Aldridge. Risk medium reward. Guns and ammo. Aldridge said this place could still be worth looting. Meg mentioned it was an old Free State's paramilitary compound that the cutthroats never went around. after. Me and Meg's gonna have a few words. Wonder why? Setting risk at medium until I can get more info. Conwa Nuka Cola plant. Recon Axel, risk low, reward caps. Out of the way location. Axel said it doesn't look too overrun. If anything, there's gotta be a boatload of caps in there, right? Survival Training Center. Recon Aldridge, risk high, reward guns, ammo, and tech. Crazy Aldridge went into the mire for this one, so Meg really thinks it's worth it. With both the Free States and the Brotherhood having a presence here, there's bound to be some good crap we can use. Hope you got a stim pack on you. You wanna die? You take that business elsewhere. West Tech. Recon, Lev, risk high, reward techs and chems. Super mutants aside, Lev thinks this place is a good hit for the chems alone. Meg's pretty sure the cutthroats already ransacked the place, so I'll need more intel on it first. Then we've got potential threats. If Axel don't get his shit together, Meyer, him and his team are gonna end up being target practice for some lucky-ass folks. All of it. I've lost three scouts to this place already, and it ain't looking good. We're lucky the Savage Divide acts as a natural barrier from that place. No one likes the swamp anyway. Graft and steel. This place is overrun with super mutants. I got a few people keeping an eye out for any trouble just in case. I'm getting real tired of cleaning all this white crap out of my equipment. But better here than that ash heap, I guess. Kiyomi's got the southern end of the crater on lockdown, so I ain't too worried about any surprise attacks. Just attacks in general. Knife's Edge. Creed was saying he and Axel spotted some old camp just east of us. Looked like they were trying to be prepared, but failed horribly. He My said that place probably rolling in his grave knowing Meg brought us here. He said that place looked like a breeding ground for some nasty critters. The big times. And finally, toxic waste disposal. Aldridge said there's an old dump site for some toxic waste. Not that we'd have <clears throat> any interest there, but a pretty sizable group of scorched are hanging out there too. Meg's been eyeballing it as part of her plan to take them all out. When are these I people gonna learn? You wanna live? You need a plan. I ain't sure that's the best idea. Red of War says, have you ever played the Elder Scrolls Online? I haven't. My wife played it for a while though, and I watched her a few times and looked really interesting. I can't believe I let Meg talk me into coming here. My dad always said they left this place for a damn good reason. All right, so the spacesuits have respawned if we want one of those. Let's see what's up here.
beds for the Raiders. Meg sucks. She talks such a big game, but you know, what do we actually do? We pick away at stragglers. We try not to rock the boat. These settlers are on my land. Hell, there's a family living in my old house. Lev. Lev's the solution. Meg's got to be retired. One way or the other. Ooh. Division in the ranks. So who's Lev? I don't believe we've met her yet. Gosh, I wish I knew where this music was coming from. Good grief. I'm all for taking what ain't mine. I never believe it when someone says it's a quick job. Only quick jobs are when you kill first and ask questions later. That's not Meg's way. Pharmacy, another Molly. Day, another sordid mess of stories. Ah, you're new. Looking to dispose of some brain cells, or was there something else that brought you to my lovely establishment? Pouring drinks for bandits seems like a fast way to get yourself killed. You aren't worried about your own safety? Worried? Hardly. Sure, I lock my cap stash up at night, but these folks are pussycats compared to the ones I grew up around. South Boston, before the bombs. Real bad. Military blockades, trigger-happy cops, and looming over it all, the monster himself, Eddie Winter. <laughs> nah, I'll pour drinks for these troublemakers any day of the week over that life again. Well, reference to Fallout 4. Came from Boston and remembers Eddie Winter. How'd you end up uh, attending Bar and Crater? Process of elimination. There were three of us in the inebriation business when we first set up. Me, Pretty Pete, and Lex. Pete poured, Lex lung chems, but uh, Appalachia seems it was too much for them. Lex tragically OD'd on her own stash not long after we arrived. Pete was so distraught, he got wasted and wandered right into one of those big bat fissures. Now I don't touch the stuff. My own little sacrifice. A reminder of the ones it took to get me my monopoly. Heard anything interesting? Visited Hemlock Holes yet? Someone was saying they got the best meal of their life up there. I'm pretty sure they weren't talking about cannibalism, but these days you really can't know, can you? Bristol says, shut up, Meg. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, heard any, it looks like we can get another tip. You wanna hurt something? There's a robotic cop down in Watoga that apparently pays real cats for giving squatters an eviction from their mortal coil. All right, I should be ah, going. Don't have too much fun out there. Oh, well, looks like the musicians have finally retired. Goodness. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Uh, let's finish exploring out here first before we go inside. Quality like this doesn't happen overnight. I put real work into my goods, so no haggling here. And then this. I gotta look, but don't touch policy. I'm tired of cleaning blood prints off my goods. All right, what's he sell? Um, a little bit of leather. Aid and junk. People need to appreciate quality protection. They don't know how lucky they are to have me. Gun shop. Have we been here? Yeah, we did. We have been here. Okay. Looks like we've gone all the way around. So... This is it. We need to go on up here. To the crater core.
Whoa. They've got kids? Rara. Grown-ups are okay, but I wish there were more kids around. Um, any brothers or sisters you could play with? Nope, it's just me. I'm an only child. Meg said she thinks I'm real tough and I must have raised myself, at least until Gail found me. She said the only family I ever need is all the people at the crater, so they're like my brothers and sisters. Don't you play with Gail? Yeah, we play lots of games, but she's not always good at the games. Maybe because she's so big? Sometimes I hide and she tries to find me, but she never can and I just get bored and come out. It would be more fun if there was another kid like me. One day you'll be a grown-up too. Yep. Ren said in just a couple of years I'll be a big bad raider just like her. But Axel said I shouldn't grow up too fast. But I don't care what he says. Boys are dumb sometimes. I want to grow up and be big and strong, just like Meg and Gail. See you around, kid. Yeah, if you don't get killed first. Bristol says the piano has more players than a Vegas card game. Ooh, we got so a... So many humans around. Makes head hurt. <laughs> you no hurt, Rara. Ever. You wear big armor, but Gale's still stronger than metal suit. So many humans around, makes head hurt. Okay, Gale. <laughs> That's Gale. Wow. Well, she has her protector. Let's see what's down here. Lit cigar. Ooh. You want to survive, you do what you got to do. That's what they say, isn't it? What's this down here? Another bedroom. Ooh, oh, empty safe. All right, there's Meg. Let's look around real quick before we talk with Meg. Hey, who's this? Gentleman Johnny Weston. Nice to have a conversation with one of you. A lot of your people would like nothing better than to wipe us out. Or at least try to. But that would be tough. Just ask Foundation. Uh, what do you think about the settlers? I think they're fighting against a basic truth. The world's ended. Civilization, laws, and all that government propaganda is more dead now than it was before the war. Now, the sooner they learn that, the better. Why don't you guys take out the Foundation? Where's the percentage in it? Say we attack, guns blazing. Best case is we win. And after that, what that? Who do we shake down for caps and food? And I, for one, <laughs> not cut out to be a farmer. <laughs> okay. What do you think of us vault dwellers? <laughs> Maybe a touch of envy. Sounds like you had some sweet digs, while the rest of us, not so much. The other thing is impressed. Considering how different you all are, it's a wonder the Overseer kept you all alive. That's quite the getup you're wearing. You like? <laughs> Finding a tuxedo isn't all that hard these days. A million empty stores around. But keeping it freshly laundered. Now that's my trade secret. Alright, see you later. Anytime. Now, what's he got on his terminal? Ooh, requires key. Hmm. How do we get the key to his terminal? Is it daytime out there? You can lose track of time down here. Nice to meet you and all that. See? Some of us have manners. Meg's old diehard, though. Don't expect any peace and cures from them. But it takes all sorts. What do you do around here? Oh, what don't I do? As all the layabouts and campings do their thing, seems like it's up to me to fix everything. Not that I'm complaining, but... It gets old sometimes, you know? What do you think of Meg? 
It's a tough world out there, and you need someone tough to see you through it. Meg's all right, I guess. I was with Lev's crew before we joined her. Meg gets all the credit. But the whole place would fall apart if not for Lev, Lou, and certain others. Hmm. Who were the diehards? Just some old gang around these parts. I hear they were lost to the scorched plague. Only the fans who followed Meg made it out alive. She had the sense to leave before the first of it. So she gets a lot of respect from her people. Another time. Sure. Whatever you say. I'm sure these NPCs will become more So important. much work to do. And do I get any thanks? These vault rumors better be true. I feel like we're just wasting our time. I could use more later on. As long as Meg's got a plan, I'm good. She's kept us alive since I joined up and hasn't steered us wrong yet. All right, and then that's yeah, the full right. circle. Besides, if all this pans out, I'm dying to lay my eyes on that much gold. All right, Meg. Apple good to see you again. To us. There ain't nobody that can prove me wrong. Look who finally showed up. Where's Aldrich? <laughs> um, the party was wiped out. The scorched were too strong. Shit. I knew Aldridge was taking too long. Um, we had a deal. Time to get your people inoculated. You need every advantage against the scorched you can get. Or we can pass a perception check to say, I can tell you want to do the right thing. Believe me, you have nothing to worry about. There's also a charisma and intelligence check, but we'll go with the perception one. You know, these people have been following me for a long time. I knew the risk coming back here, but find that trove, we're set. I can't afford to let them down. Not after we've come this far. What's this trove you're talking about? You're telling me you work with that babysitting trash can and never once heard her broadcast? She's only blasting the news far and wide about some rumored treasure hidden up here in Appalachia. Now this place is crawling with vultures, trying to take what's ours. And I ain't about to let that happen. I won't let my people down. Not after all we've been through. You get them inoculated, and you won't let them down. As much as I hate to believe it, you're right. And besides, I made a deal. I'll make the announcement. You hold up your end of the bargain. Be seeing you real soon, 7-6. All right. And she gave us a combat shotgun. What's down here, I wonder? Have you seen those Mothman cultists yet? Straight out of the loony bin, I tell ya. Well, we're finally getting to explore some of this, uh... Whoa, whoa, this goes deep. Barb, hi. So what did my screw-up brother Creed do now? Creed's your brother? Yeah. We've got each other's back. Of course I'm pulling his fat out of the fire most of the time. He tries, but I'm not so sure he's tough enough to survive here on his own. There's gotta be some better loot around here. Bristol says, if Wastelanders overrides Shit. the first year of the story of Appalachia, how will you do lore videos on the pre-Wastelanders storyline? Um, it doesn't override it at all. The two were completely compatible. How did you end up here? I came with Creed. We heard you could make your own fortune here, and they didn't care where you came from. Can you trust any of these people? Yeah, they'll gut you like a fish and uh, strip your corpse for caps, but... I don't know. At least they're upfront about it. Those Foundation settlers will gossip and lie about you behind your back. Before you know it, you'll have no friends. Here, if I prove myself, they won't judge me. See you later, Barb. Not if I see you first. Okay, <laughs> what does that even mean? What's down there? Okay, so we've got two paths. Well, way. I gotta get back to monitoring the radio chatter. Excuse me. Raider Punk? I just 
just need to get out on my own one of these days, you know? All I want to do is get out of this place, get my radio set up somewhere, and talk about the world. How it is now. You get me? Oh! Oh, hey! I think we get another, uh, ally. We can do a level 50 plus check. I've been around, kid. I've seen things. A perception of five check. You act like a caged animal. A luck of eight check. A wild guess here. Do you think the Mothman steals our dreams? Why don't you set up your radio at my place? Let's do the luck check. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was just thinking that the other day. How... How did you know that? Wait, I don't want to know. I want to find out for myself. <laughs> I need to get out of this dump. Look. I got this dream. It eats me up inside. I've been traveling with this crowd for a while, and we'll... I need to get away. You feel me? They're... Well, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I still want to stop by and hang out with them, see the sights, but I need quiet, calm. I need to hear the world. I got a radio. I know some people. Got a buddy here in Crater, a hunter pal out in Foundation. Know some people all over. I know people, man. Um... <laughs> you can stay at my place for 50 caps a day. You can set up your radio at my place, okay? You're too weird for me. Bye, man. Eh, uh, let's have him set up his radio. Seriously? Whoa, that's out of this world. You got space for me there, right? I don't need much. I just need open airwaves, baby. Here, here, uh, take my radio. Set it up at your place. I gotta make some plans. Tell some buddies. Tell my mom. Ah, uh, yeah, my mom. This is the best day oh man i'll see you soon all right i'm good she's kept us uh give me your radio say your buys and meet me at my camp yes my life is really turning around everybody on the radio is going to be so impressed cool so now we can build a raider punks radio at our camp that's great red of war says any tip to make my first live stream tomorrow um yeah, just get all of the you technical issues here down. Too, or what? They're the ban of my existence, but I'm sure you, uh, I'm sure you've got that covered. Bristol says it means she's got the hots for you. Who does? I'm not sure who you're talking about. Hello, Serge. Look who we have here. What's your name, Serge? Well, they call me Serge, as in surgeon. But <laughs> I'm no doctor. I can put a round in a mole rat's buck teeth at a thousand meters, though. You look pretty comfortable with that rifle. My dad had me shooting as soon as I could hold a pistol straight. Oh, he's gone now. Killed three Yagwai with a pistol once. But he couldn't stop his own ticker from quitting on him. How'd you end up here? After my dad died, I walked the Appalachian Trail. Figured why not? Spotted Lev in a firefight with some super mutants through my scope. Thought to myself, now that's a man I need to know better. What accent is that? I can't even place that one. So long. Have a great day. I will. You know, I think the uh, Raider faction has way more people to talk to and more lore. Like I've found holotapes and notes here and hardly anything back at the Foundation. Lots of interesting characters here. Uh, only a handful. Like, there was that one family at the foundation, and then there was just Paige and, uh, Wade, I think his name was. Ooh. It's down here. Photography of this area is prohibited. <laughs> oh, really? Ah, uh, hey there, Lev! Unless you're here to pay me, fuck off! What is it with the Raiders and their, like, Eastern European accents? <laughs> You look like a man who gets what he wants. Always! Anyone that gets in my way, well, that doesn't happen twice. How did you end up here? From Russia before the war. But I like it here. Americans are so soft. Such easy prey. Do you hate the settlers in Foundation? Why bother? So long as they stay out of our way, we let them live. All At right. least, until we're ready to take what they have. <laughs> okay. Live and let live, for now. Dasvidanya. Dasvidanya. 
Bruski. All right, so that's Lev. And we met Barb. I heard this white stuff's hell on the eyes. Gives you a few ideas, doesn't it? Uh, no, I guess not. And is that it? Have we been down here? No, I don't think so. I guess we could camp out here if we wanted to. Armor workbench. Sweet, and I think that's it. Seeing you reminds me why I drink. Time to pay Molly a visit. Have we been here? Yeah, we talked with Serge. Okay, I think that's it for the raider camp. Let's head on out. Now, there were a oh, few dailies. I, creeping around. I know we need to go back to the overseer, but there were a few dailies that we picked up um, that I kind of uh, want to do first to increase my raider rep. Do what you gotta do. Oh, okay. How, I've always, I'm always frustrated by circular bases because I, I never know the way out. Here we go. Uh, Bristol says, I'm confused. How does this work in multiplayer? If there's only one instance for each person, how can you send a guy to your own camp without stealing the opportunity from someone else? Um, so the instance is copied for every person or group. Uh, so basically, if you play the game, you have your own, your own version of the guy that you can send to your camp. All right, is my camp still part of Nuked? It is. Now, let's see. I think I got some new dailies here. Uh, talk to Roxy. Find vacuum tubes. All right, let's try this one first. Roxy's in camp. How did I not meet Roxy? Oh, because she's down here working on the pipes. Hi, Roxy. Loyalty. Does anybody in this goddamn place understand the concept? Loyal to the gang, huh? You wanna prove it? I'm listening. Good. You didn't look like a leech. Not everybody's loyal, you see. Some people take all they can from us. They use us. Then they leave us to rot. It's not right. We aren't a charity. We expect contributions in kind. You know? It's not a complex system here. So, you in? Ah, uh, what exactly is going on here? Here's the deal. Anytime somebody leaves our little gang here, I want them found. And I want them dealt with. Fairly. What's fair? Dealer's choice. I just want to know they got the message. And look, no hard feelings, but I sent out some others just a few minutes ago, too. I got a head start. But the more the merrier. Will you pull your weight around here? Or what? Just tell me what to do. Good. You're not a flake. I'm impressed. I had a hunter follow the trail earlier, so... I think these directions will get you close enough. If you only find a corpse, well, that's fine. Maybe the others got there first. I just want to know that it's done. Okay! Intercept the hunters. Just send a message. Nothing fancy. A bullet, a knife, strong words. You know, use what you got. Eat and drink, everyone is saying. All oh, right, 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 right. Um, brain fungus, uh, blowing fungus. Uh, water. I don't have any food, do I? Well, if we do this uh, daily, maybe we can find some food. All right, this is sending us to the Dabney Homestead. All the way over here, okay. Is part one still processing? Let me check.
Yeah, still processing. YouTube is taking their good sweet time. But as soon as it's done processing, I will make it live. Don't you worry. All right. Let's uh, make these raiders pay. And maybe intercept the hunters that they sent out first. Ken Clive says, figured out who nuked your cat box. It was vault Tech. Well, leave it to vault Tech. They would be the ones. Uh, Bristol says, I've seen many people ask, so I'll just do a super chat. Where can we watch part one? Part one is still processing. It, I streamed it earlier today, and uh, it will be done in, I don't know, but uh, it's less than a four-hour live stream, so it shouldn't be too much longer. As soon as it's ready, I'll make it live. Welcome new member, Red of War. Thanks very much, Red. Ice says, I think you're approaching the four hour mark, Ox. Uh, thanks. Shovel, oh. We found some dead settlers. Is that, is that what this is? Deal with the former raider. Oh, it's over here. Oops. I'm getting eggs! <laughs> Gulper innards. He's already dead, former raider. Glowing meat. Gulper innards. All right, I'm getting all the meat I need to craft up some food. Now, I did get some food here. What was it? Uh, fancy All right, daily is done. Is there a cooking station around here or should I go back? I should probably go back. All right, let's turn in the quest. Actually, let's check out my camp. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a blast zone. Let's see what happened. Maybe I can repair it. Oh no, my camp! Ah, <laughs> that, that totally destroyed. Oh, <laughs> look at it! Oh, it's awful! Look at my poor camp, Blue! What happened? <laughs> Alright. Oh, can I do it all? No, I need steel! I need steel, circuitry, and all... I wish there was an option to repair everything that I could afford instead of just everything.
out of concrete. I can't repair that, I'm out of concrete. Well, let me repair everything else I can. Oh, I can't repair my water station? repair. I don't know if I have, I have enough time. Yeah, I've got less than 10 minutes. Uh, let's go turn in the Raider quest and then I'll repair my uh, my workshop at another time. Never give up. Just keep doing it. Let's go turn in the daily. Laura says, is the forager guy still alive? And he wants you to pull his finger? Yeah, <laughs> he respawned after I repaired his chair. Poor forager got hit smack in the face with a nuke. Yes, this he is did. This Corruptin's Mayor calling all Corruptin Park Rangers. We have a toxic spill situation. That damn lake has coughed up more barrels of toxic waste. Get rid of them. There's gotta be some better loot around here. <sighs> Don't you go causing problems. I've got enough on my plate. Can I cross this name off my list or what? Um. The only thing that matters is that I took care of it. Good. I don't even care what you did. I just like to know it's done. Seems like every day some weak punk takes off. Sometimes I don't care. Sometimes they owe us. If we just let them all run off, other people will think we're weak. Like we're here to be used. We gotta watch out for our own. You know? So in the future, swing by sometime. I'll let you know if another wimp is pissed off. All right. I might have some work for you later, maybe. Great, I completed the daily. Looks like I've got one or two more dailies to do here. Can I get another one from her? I might have some work for you later, maybe. Not yet. This place sucks. We were better off up more. Hmm. 
Hmm, finally some food. Gulper slurry. There we go. None of them says, so can you rescue Santa bot? Yeah, I gotta repair him, but I don't have the circuitry. Bristol says, why have your doors open outwards? I don't know. Red of War says, I just logged into Graham was get shot at, but sellers. Graham was being shot at? Okay. They know we were here first. Okay, now uh, let's see what's next. Does anybody in this goddamn place understand the concept? The importance of communication is the next one. Uh, vacuum tubes are here at Eastern Regional, and if looks someone like it's gets a bigger cut than faster if up. I fast travel to Vault so 76. No. All right, so I've only got a few more minutes for broadcast number two. So I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast here. Um, I do want to keep playing, but I need a bit of a break. So I'm probably going to take a, uh, a bit of a break. I don't know how long it's going to be. It'll, it'll, it'll be around 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to let everyone on Twitter know when I start broadcasting again. And uh, we can pick up here with episode three of Wastelanders in a few minutes. So uh, hang tight, everybody. It'll probably be about 15 minutes or so, maybe 20 minutes, and then I'll start streaming again episode three. Uh, I'll also try to see if they've finished uh, processing episode one uh, of Wastelanders, and I'll try to get that live as soon as possible. Thank you for joining me for the second live stream of Wastelanders today. I'll be ready with a third in just a few minutes. Have a wonderful rest of the day if you have to head out. Otherwise, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks again for coming. Bye-bye now.